do his own thing. Johnny? What up, what up? Welcome back to the 2 Be Fair show. I'm your host, Johnny P. Over here, real. It's Q. And we back. So we get into it. I want to tell everybody, thank you for tapping in once again. Uh, please follow us on all social medias. It's at the 2 Be Fair show. We're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. Hit the notification button, subscribe, like, comment below. We better get into it. See what we got. It's been a busy week. Mm, uh, mm -hmm. Hip Hop World War Three. The Civil War, I like to call the, the, it the, the, uh, the Civil War. War. I like, I like the Civil that. The Civil War. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the rap Civil War. It started off as like a, a a poetry slam rap battle, and shit turned up real quick, didn't it? As soon, as, soon, as, soon as Cole dropped out, nigga said, "I bet." I <laughs> that's how y'all took that. And but th before we even get that's to like funny. the records and stuff, this is one of the things that I had in my mind. Like, like with Drake, Drake is currently getting jumped by the entire industry, right? Why He's do you say that? Um, on Friday weekend, drop some words for him. Oh, I Future and them drop some words ASAP. for him. ASAP drop some wow, words for him. Ricky, I didn't know that. Um, Ricky Ross was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I know, Rick, but that, that was that was. But, yeah, but, but if we just saying yeah, like okay, everybody yeah. like Ross, um, who else? Who else? Crazy. I feel like I feel like somebody. Uh, French Montana. Cause... But it, but he got the whole thing with French. But imagine like all the Avengers line up on one side, and then your homie just told you, "Hey, I'm too mature for this shit." Like That's you ain't got crazy. no backup, you ain't got no nigga. No, nah, that is fucked up. I ain't looking at that. And, way. Then, and then they got, then they got like, <laughs> and they got Thanos up there, Kendrick just looking at his rings and shit. And he imagine like everybody has a symbol yeah. to go against you. Do you think and your boy is too mature? Like think, he looking at you get jumped like that's crazy. I ain't really in the fight, you know. I'm I'm for like peace. <laughs> I didn't know that. everybody was coming at my were coming at him like that. So are, are we still mad at Cole for dropping out, knowing like what was coming? Because I don't think makes Cole it worse. Like oh, yeah, Cole, Cole wasn't trying to diss all the niggas though. Like if everybody mad at your homeboy, sometimes but you gotta, he ain't got to. End. Sometimes you got to. Okay, so I got a question. I got a question. Like Before we go to just going back to the Cole shit. So how do y'all feel after being able to sit with? Uh, the decision that he made. How has your opinion changed no. from where you stood initially? Anyone's? I think uh -huh. it's more of a tr uh, strategic choice. I think you know he was looking at war. So was, what's the strategy? So he was to run. Well, I, I think it's so a, it's different than beefing with Kendrick just over top three versus beefing with Drake uh, or beefing with Ross. Future and, he didn't and the whole have industry. to beef with all them though. He, he didn't at he all. He didn't have to beef with all them though. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't I, want to I call think... it strategic because now you're trying Yo, to give why, him some why would he have to plan <laughs> for some shit. Ross though. wouldn't even have been inside point. of it if uh Drake. if if Drake didn't put his name inside well, the line. That's true. That's true. That's true. Exactly. And like the niggas that already had problems with Drake, Ben had problems with Drake before he went on tour with the niggas. So like that that part really couldn't make a difference. Bro, um, hold on. I got another thing. Why is all these niggas trying to bandwagon beefing with Drake at the same time? Well, I think that there's also a thing where you, like, it's two ways to look at it. Mm -hmm. You can look at it as like, damn, why are these niggas trying to jump Drake? Or what did Drake do? Drake's probably a fuck nigga. That, no, that, no, he's that, that's what he come down and, to. And that's closer to, that's what he keeps sounding like. Like, niggas just be having reasons. And it almost seems like everybody sees that like the civil wars are already booming to where it's about to come. But I guess these are this is the album like future Metro album mm -hmm. already kind of existed. I imagine a lot of these records were already made. Like say a ASAP Rocky, he's literally responding to Drake saying in his last album, "What, what did he say? He said he called he he, he said he, it was a really direct this that he named mm -hmm. ASAP. So I'm sure next time ASAP was going to pop out, what happened to be on this album, he was going to say some shit. Yeah, oh, okay. So all of these dishes you talking about was on that that the Metro Boomer. Yeah, they wasn't on one song. Or it was the second. I, I joke. think it was smart for yeah. Cole to back out. I think it was smart for Cole to back out of this at this point. I wonder if he knew all of this was him, him being involved. In, like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, Drake, 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 on, Drake don't need Cole to back him up. That's one thing I say about. Like, I don't think Drake need Cole to back him up. I don't think Cole need Drake to back him up. I really don't think none of them need each other to back up. Like, but my thing is that like I think he I looks think, the worst out of everybody. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't see my nigga Kaz from Dreamville have to like. Like try and be be shielding bullies yeah. off and shit. I say, wait a minute, cause my like niggas already started shooting at Cole. Simba to drop something, hey. and then uh, Kaz had to be like, hey, that's big homie, and and made a rap back to it. And I'm like, God damn, who would have yeah. thought Cole yeah. would be they, they getting bullied by want, niggas but, on the internet? Now. But I mean, Simba Simba got to drop a tape before he started. That's, that's not like like like, like, like name, they won't name three, name, name, name three Simba records. I ain't got to. 
What does that have to do with it? At the end of the day, because he he's the corner like rebuttal. He ain't on the same level. He ain't on the same level. At the same time, that I promise you, there's been many niggas that's been down here shooting at the stars throughout the years. At the end of the day, Simba has not. Nobody cares what you think about the situation right now. Exactly. We're well, not talking about what, what Simba does. No, I mean, what I'm saying is that the nigga, you, went bar, it, the nigga made it to every platform that, that okay. he needed. So what I'm saying, but, but, you, but you're, you're still not able to talk to me, though. Yeah. Like, you can talk to them motherfuckers, but you that's can't why, talk that's to why me. Kyle's but, responded. That's but wait, why Kyle's but wait responded. who is Cole able to talk to right now? Everybody. Can't. Yeah, yeah. Every who, nigga look at him like pussy. And Cole come out with a track today. Bro, and bro, it's, like, it's, it's bro, rap bro. beef. It, 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 it's it's rap beef. I don't, I don't feel like that. Nah, nah, bro. It's crazy. This ain't nah. the streets. Take your cake though. No, it don't bro. matter if he put. Oh no, but matter. but he did. He he it he was pussy matter. on not the street shit. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he I don't, pussy I don't think it was pussy on. for him to dog on back out yeah, and say, nah, no, I, want, I want to keep my oh, peace. Lord, I don't I think that was pussy. So, so my thing oh, is, is that, Lord. So okay, I, let me I, prepare for this one. Okay, so and then also, and this is not even- Niggas is now walking back that him <laughs> dropping out of a conscious rap beef was pussy. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, I never said, said it was said pussy anyway. That, I don't, that's not what I never said pussy either. All right, my bad. I'm, I'm using a strong word. Let me make this digestible so we can talk softly. Yeah, my nigga did that. Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 hey, hey, you let's know, talk you gotta, softly around it. You got to pay attention to how niggas want to undermine your opinion. Niggas do little subtleties and shit. That's like, okay. yeah, y'all. I know because opinion. like y'all gonna take. I said a strong word. So no, 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 no. And we're gonna go away. But did we all think that it was corny? It was weak that he backed out of a conscious rap battle of of a war of words. What the thing for me is that I always like for us as consumers, that was bullshit. For him as an individual, I can still understand how you make that decision for yourself. Of course. But at the end of the day, for me, it's like, bro, I we deserve this. We deserve this as niggas who've been following you, warm up fucking all of these years. And Kendrick, we deserve that nigga this was back Santa and Claus. Forth. We found out he wasn't real, bro. I don't, yeah. go, you, you I don't say go. that you're gonna smoke. I, I think Cole represents something bigger, bro. I think Cole, yeah, I think like, Cole but, represents but something bigger, bro. But don't say it on every track but bro, that you gonna smoke niggas if you're not gonna do it. But here's to my me, thing. I like like I can put put him all this storytelling shit aside, and I can listen to all that shit. I don't want to hear you speak competitive rap no more to me. I'm not interested. You proved that you ain't for it. Yeah, I, I could, I could, like I said. Why would I listen to that? You're lying to me. I mean, he bro. had the safest beef in history and backed out of that shit. Yeah, no, and, and he true. also would. That's like, because it was, it's not like it, it he started it. Kendrick, he, bro, but Kendrick just, punched first. But, just bro, but it wasn't a legitimate Like if a nigga beat, hit like, me and I gotta say sorry because I hit you back. No, nah, but that's weak, bro. Y'all niggas is no, 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 no. That's still off. not. That's still not a big hit though. After Big Three, it's just Big Me. It's not big enough for me to dog on. I agree. Mess up. He a had like four with my direct. Guy. Like this, this my guy. Why is my I'm guy calling me out then? Bro, and, and, I, and he did it like it's like know, three to four even, times in a row. Even when you say like the first person shooter line, right? That that could literally just been for Drake. Okay, what about the stick line then? The stick line. What was the stick line? He oh, said, so the nigga stick. walk with a, something about that. Like because Cole ends off his uh, stick reference with uh, "I walk with a stick," like a something, something, something. Mm -hmm. And Cole, uh, Kendrick says, "If a nigga walks with a stick, something, something, something." Andre three K. Whatever, the, but it's directly going to okay, Cole's okay. line. It's and not I mean, even like and, and also Cole did respond and when he was talking about like pretty much the idea like y'all niggas been lying the whole time. That's why I thought it was okay. You know what I mean? That's why I don't worry about it. Right. Yeah. So like, but what I'm saying is that I I understand that that what you're saying and I'm not saying the way you feel is invalid. Like I actually agree with that. But I also hear him say you're gonna smoke niggas on tracks again. I don't really care about that part. If the, if the record's hard, the record's hard. But at the same time, as it, as a result, you hold this L. I'm, this goes on your back. Like at the right, end of the day, you hold this. Nigga, you hold now this. Please from me, I'm like not copying please from you. Oh, hold this, right, nigga. When it comes hey, down, talk about the tracks. Hey, hold on. Exactly. Yeah, we got some comments. That's that's my point. That's my point. Because my thing is like, if you go back, he still had like probably the toughest verse on the new Future Who? album. Cool. That red leather. Oh, that. Well, that, 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 that red. Well, but, but I'm saying though, like, like even last week, I was saying the, if he get on stage and say sorry, that don't change how good his music is. He's not no, a battle sure. rapper. I agree. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. Well, I ain't gonna say he ain't a battle rapper. Still... That's, that's copping the plea right there. He said that he, his, that's his the plea. entire career for the past four yes. years, I'm it's a about battle smoke rapper with smoke. He wanted smoke his <laughs> and own that's career. Like, you like, can't. Don't go there. Okay. Why are we revising what a nigga say? I don't care. Okay. I don't care about battle. I just care about if the music. You was hype as fuck on Saturday. No, no, no. At the end of the day, we all was hype. It was good music. It was a letdown. It was good music. It was a letdown. We still gonna listen to it. Still good music I was the, I'm, I'm still excited for that hey Trey tell them yeah. niggas take F the FBA off, nah we got some comments from FBA Trey that's that's, that's the name for yeah. it I like that FBA uh, Trey, FBA Trey. <laughs> 
Time to run Drake Culture Vulture ass out the paint. He's a tailor at the cosplaying FBAs and even takes pictures in blackface. White boy. Hey, at the end of the day, <laughs> like, hey, Ross crazy for that shit. <laughs> Hey, Ross is crazy for um, that joke. Is rap beef really good? No, no Trey, it ain't. And, um, it ain't. But it's entertaining as fuck. I'm going to read the last comment, then we can comment oh, on oh, um, Typical light skin behavior from Cole, but I respect it. All right, let's go. All right, see, my thing is, is that rap beef, it's, it's, I think it's healthy as long as it's just competitive. As long as it's not like niggas getting killed and nobody's going to touch anybody. This is all a, bro, it's supposed to be a uh, a competitive sport. It's a competitive sport. So Literally, hip hop competition is healthy. Competition. competition is healthy. And, and that's why I don't like the reason, like Cole leaving. I understand your individual, it made you feel a way and it didn't sit well with you after the fact. Okay, as an individual, that's okay. But for me, as a Cole fan, Nigga, you supposed to you you supposed to go all the way with this joke, bro. Don't don't start backing out like that was crazy for me. I mean, so all he so, had to do is like you can play off of Kendrick and K Dot and just make bars about it and just I'm proving I'm a better, better rapper. rapper. That was all that was you about. Who's the like better rapper? And shit. Like who gives a fuck about that? Like I, mean, I think Cole has done that like already that he's a better rapper <laughs> than K Dot. Like a couple weeks ago, know, bro. We were saying like outside of him apologizing, did you think? K dot was a better rapper than him. See, three my weeks thing ago. is, is that my Last thing is, is always been ago. debatable. For me, I, that's more of a preference base. Like I think that both of them are great, and whether you side this way or this way, that's just preference. But, we so, but this was supposed to tell definitively and, who is. And truth be the last time, but it didn't. So, so now K dot is better. No, 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 though. that's not what I'm saying. I don't believe that. I don't believe so, because he's that's backed what, out. That's that means what he's better. Saying. They saying that's J Cole is out the big three. He and clearly is. That's big. That's how bullshit. because he was because of something he did not on the rap record. How that take it? How that take his music out the top three? That's I back. think that's that bullshit. he. I think that he lost respect from his peers. He might have lost respect, but he still. And I, I don't think music, whoever those the peers hip -hop, are, the niggas is not the, fucking the, with the music. The is hip hop the music. community at large has kind of all said the exact same. Well, uh, hey, my thing is, is that like it'll be interesting to see what his next album. I, does I will say, I don't think, I don't think we've like seen, like I don't think we've seen the end of it. I think the context of what, I think just the context of how he was trying to come out in battle didn't sit right with him, and I, I mean, I can understand why. I really see it after I, I sit too. back. I can get it. Like he, he was about to get caught up in some in between the smoke of Drake and Kendrick. That's where the real beef at. And, I, and, and like with he was about to get caught in between the smoke, and I think it was a it was a better play for him to go exactly. ahead and take himself exactly. out of it. Explain. Like if like if him and Kendrick battle, then this is a legit team. battle. But this wasn't his battle, bro. I can give you that now. I can give you that now. Thinking about it, like what he said at the end of the day, this was gonna be he if he knew that this was about to be bigger than what that was gonna be, then okay. You know what I mean? I ain't saying I don't know what he knew, but now that would make sense if he knew that this was about to go like. I'm not finna just protect this man Drake. We he probably also knows this nigga Drake been on some fuck shit for years. And now this is about to boil over and niggas is about to goddamn. And I'm not finna be the guy taking up for the nigga when I know the nigga been on fuck shit the whole time. But that nigga can't handle himself. He don't even take up. Hey, that's why so, good. so what do y'all think about the Drake record? Yeah, that's what I wanted to get to. How did that how did that hit? Drop and give me 50. <laughs> <laughs> Light skin boy that did so the tethers are up one. <laughs> <laughs> FBA, we got We need y'all right now. FBA got to do something. What did you think? Um, the record, I think it's okay. I don't think I don't know if it's enough, but it, it was okay. Well, think, enough for what? Like if Kendrick goes, like I think this is what this is what Drake did. Um, Drake made a digestible radio record. I heard it on the radio as well um, when I was going to pick up QJ. And it it like it makes sense. He has the dropouts. He has the uh, uh, drop like like just all the different little tags to it, um, in which he probably now just puts Kendrick at like yeah Kendrick at a place where you can't be overly rapidy rapidy rap rap, and it has to be a little bit more like digestible in general because that's going to be a, a lane that people are probably compare it to. But rap wise, I think there's a wide open lane in which Kendrick can clearly out rap that. Um, I don't think that he had like, like he, I understand like his main insults was that top takes 50% of your shit, mm -hmm. um, which is splits about, um, you're short and you wear a small shoe and it, in my big three is, is me, me, me and twice. Uh, yeah. Was it, was it Cole supposed to be the last spot? I'm assuming that was my assumption. He, oh damn. And this, 
Like Cole ended up getting smoked from Drake now. <laughs> it's like, yeah. damn. He, he was light on Cole. Was, he was, I don't really think that was smoke with Cole. He was light. I think, he, I think he that was don't care with Cole. Thing. I don't care what Cole if Cole because Cole gave him compliments. So like he was giving Kendrick compliments. Like raise your hand if you like Kendrick Lamar. Else, what up? I don't care what Cole yeah. said. Fuck what Cole said. Not, oh, fuck, oh, yeah, that's what he said. He didn't he say, say fuck Cole. He said fuck Cole. I don't care what Cole said. I don't give a fuck. No, no. I think he said fuck what Cole said. That K dot shit was weak. Again, like yeah, that's not I, a shot, bro. Okay, all I know is that <laughs> shot. all I know is that one <laughs> that was like it was very intentional, and I don't think that I think their whole like togetherness is probably a dub now. With, talking about the cold Drake, yeah, yeah. With yeah. Kendrick getting on the uh, no, I'm talking about uh, Cole and Drake. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that probably in itself was a line in the sand because of Cole kind of was a line in the sand mm-hmm. with him getting on the future record in itself. Um, cause you, you got on an album that's themed as fuck Drake. Mm-hmm. That in itself is kind of like crazy. And it's like, damn, that, that was my boy. And then you find out that Drake was supposed to come to Dreamville, but then he didn't feel comfortable. I guess maybe he got wind of cold and a whole little thing and shit like that. Um, everything lines itself up. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't be trying to go too much. Cause it'd be so much that we don't know in real life. Like when the, the window, well, either way, uh, I just go with like the main things that seem like they line themselves up. Yeah, uh, say, fuck what Cole say. So I, I'll give my take on the Drake John. I thought that to me, I, I agreed. I just had this argument with my homie last night. He was talking about how uh, uh, Drake uh, Drake is going to murder uh, Kendrick, and I said that I feel like it'll be a divide, regardless of what Drake didn't really. That wasn't like a. Nah, Kendrick can it was dope. It was dope. Like, but it was just like it wasn't. There was no layers to it. It was just a nigga just popping shit. It wasn't like mm-hmm. no great like. He ain't really have no hell of a bars. It was just really just he was just and, talking and, and, and shit. And then he also had like maybe the cringiest line of the entire beef also. What was that? Uh dropping the way the way you doing splits, you might rip your pants, rip pants. or something like that. Mm, yeah. It's like Ugh, that's not a good. That that that, that, that it was, was funny to me. I thought it was funny. That was, that was nasty a little bit. Yeah. At the end that of the was day, corny. <laughs> at the end of the day, it was. Uh, at the end of the day, like he didn't do anything that like wild me or thought like, oh, this nigga's going for best rapper. He's not going for best rapper with this John. This is more of just what we knew was beef before. This is not like mm-hmm. what we thought what Cole and Kendrick was going to give us. This is going to be a competitive back and forth, and we trying to figure out who's the best. What Drake did, that's not like trying to be the best. That's just like popping shit. And the thing is, I was telling him like it's, at the end of the day, very well written though. Like there's a lot not, of slick uh, entendres that's within it. Okay, like, if well, you maybe they went over. Thing, like I, I enjoyed DJ Act this pad, I mean yesterday, because he kind of went line for line and was breaking down all the different nuances to a lot no, of the things that no he was saying. Um, I'm, I'm cool on academic. Nah, but hey, cool hey listen, he did act was the mixtape this uh, Yeah, yesterday. I don't give a fuck. Um, what, cool what I you, thought that, uh, that nigga, he, he's the one that dropped the raw shit. All right, that's cool. What I'm saying is that um, the to me, the, the, the it'll still be a divide. I think that people that actually, whatever Kendrick does, it's going to be much more layered. It's going to be, I think it's going to be much better written. Um, but there'll be a divide because of how cut and dry Drake's was. A lot of, that was easy for everybody to consume. With Kendrick, he's normally not as easy for everybody to consume. And I can only imagine like what he's going to do with this. Hopefully he gives us what we want. Niggas that really love hip hop. And then what that'll do is that'll still create the divide. It'll be the people who like more of a casual listener of hip hop. They'll give you the Drake one. And then the niggas who actually like hip hop, hip hop niggas that cold. Cause I mean, Kendrick to me, if listening to what Drake just did, I don't know if Drake can like really get into the bag bag. Like, like, like I felt he could before in my opinion, I don't know if he can really get into like the, the real hip hop bag like that anymore. I don't know if he can do that. I think I know what it is. Like Drake's, Drake don't seem to Drake's too far gone to be like home, have a home base at this point. So it was like I listened to the track and I was like, I feel like I'm I feel like this the hardest track, but it still don't go harder than what Cole did, for instance. Oh, like no, and, and the reason I'm no, saying that is because definitely harder than Cole. I, I, okay, so the reason I'm saying that though is because <laughs> like I, I I thought I was I thought about it. I was like, I feel like this is supposed to be the best, this is supposed to be the better track. Like technically on paper, this would be the better track because mm-hmm. like as far as dissing. He, he he went in, bro. Like, I ain't gonna sit there in front on that. I think he did a good job of writing it. I think he did a good job of presenting it and everything. There was a lot of witty stuff that make you laugh and everything. But it didn't hit home, I guess, because, like, something like what Cole did was stuff you can still relate to as a regular person. Like, it's, it's like... Not, his diss? Like, it, within his diss, there was lines that he was throwing out so, like, where it's like, what, I can relate to this so what, as what a regular be, what person. What were those lines that you would say? Oh, man. You yeah, would, yeah, <laughs> ain't nobody get it off the top. Yeah, that's all I, I think. Cole, because... 
I think I already had Cole his take three. I wasn't picking other lines. Like, I, I got you. I, I guess what I'm saying is that Cole was getting killed for all the softball lines that he had. Well, like the worst thing he said was, "You ain't wrote a a, a fire verse in thirty months, pretty much." Yeah, and then, like that, there mean, wasn't also any critiquing any the albums thing. was yeah, critiquing, the critiquing the albums was also a, a a tough thing. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's what, like he he didn't say anything that was crazy I don't or think was like got, over the head or anything like it that. It wasn't that it was to crazy. me. If I listened to it, I thought that Cole was kind of trying to do his best Drake impression, especially the first half of it, where he was making like he put a hook on it. Drake's the first nigga to put hooks on on, on rap. Okay. Make it making it like catchy and like um like really digestible. Like like he like it, it sounded really, really good. And which it sounded like it could get played on the radio. I think that second half, he tried to be like, all right, I'm a rap rap. I'm gonna be, you know what I mean, like a, a rapper to it. But like he did his like the first half was a offspring of what Drake okay. birthed inside the beef genre of back to back. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll say this. I, I got two takes on it. I got, okay. I, I, I got two takes on it. I think I'm glad you mentioned it back to back. I think this is the charged up. I think it's a. I think this might. It's a jab. Mm -hmm. I don't think this because even he even said it. He said I still know more mm -hmm. at the at the very end. He said so. This sounds like just the the the, the jab. You know, you set them up with the mm -hmm. jab and you hit them with the right. But I, I also think when you said about Cole, I don't think Cole has a real issue with them niggas or with Kendrick. Drake sounds like he has a real issue exactly. and i think that's what goes into the part of the reason cole's like hey y'all niggas really got something going on i'm I, I, i'm gonna step out let y'all go at it and you know y'all had dreams of kendrick and y'all y'all do y'all do that, <laughs> that nigga was crazy bro i don't know like, you make it sound way worse that's than what the nigga is, said bro. i couldn't sleep at night that that's, what said, like, dreams of kendrick. Like, 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 that's like that? the most asshole take you, you ain't never but you, ain't had, you ain't never had nothing on your content that you did that was just wrong bro he never said that but but like 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 so so I think I think this beef, like, like you say, Cole, Cole ain't coming out, but this the beef Cole is going. This this, this beef is yeah. going to get like. Damn. Apparently, that nigga know something. Apparently, if everybody's teaming up against Drake, it's apparently some fuck shit he done did. Mm -hmm. He he calling out like I didn't. I'm, I'm this is about women and stuff. They didn't hit each other's joints. He talking about Ja Morant and his girls. So like this is finna get ugly. Right. And I think that's why you know. Cole didn't want nothing to do with it. I think this is just the first record. He ain't want no smoke with that. He ain't I, I one think, of but I don't think Cole's a nigga to be talking about like getting women, like like yeah, I hit your baby mama and stuff. He got didn't a wife. He just say that in the red leather record. He said, I mean, at the end of it, he said no. <laughs> he said he, he said I'm gonna just go back with my girl. He said it's tough being with. No, but he woman. said I'm just I'm just a, uh, a rap nigga that'll fuck your bitch. That's what he just said in that song. He did say that. Okay, so I got a question. He, okay, he did. Let's but, move. But forward. he also talked about going back home to his wife. Though. He also said I'm gonna just go home. I'm gonna <laughs> just I'm gonna just chill. That nigga yeah. Santa Claus, man. So I'm sorry. So, okay. Leave that nigga alone. Let's man. push it a bit forward. So what y'all thought about the Ross record, white boy? White I, boy. I, I, I loved it. I thought, I, thought, I thought second verse into the uh, outro was the best rapping that's happened. I think it was the best offering from this beef so far. That second verse into the outro is the best offering from anybody in this beef. And then it also gives you, you go like, I ain't gonna go all the way there, but let, listening to Drake and then listening to Ross, it's like, bro, this is what I love about hip hop. Drake is not hip hop. In my opinion, mm. in my what, opinion, what he gave him was mafia music. What, like how he, this is just like my he, opinion. He, Drake is not hip hop. 50. Drake is like, uh, like yeah, pop. Ross, he's or, more or pop. Ross when you hear tough. Ross and then like, Ross, Ross presentation, tough. the way like, he Ross sit on the beat tough. and like he, he went to the pattern. classic Ross. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he told that man to dress it when you see me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ross is just. Ross and, was probably what, and, and you remember and how then it was under two minutes, I mean two hours, like you, to you, drop. Yes, in under two hours, crazy. Quick response, y'all remember when when they did the top fifty, and I'm like. He all got my nigga Ross all the way down here. Oh, I could never. Where was Ross? Was he like, he was like 48 50? or some he shit? Like, he was yeah, definitely yeah, he was like all way on the you, you back he, he top 10 all time discography. Bro, I was sitting here like, dog, this is. Maybe I missed something because I didn't. I wasn't crazy about it. But hey. You oh, no, Tone got smoked for that uh, record. I will say this. For bro. the Ross record? No, nah, I was saying I wasn't crazy about it, bro. I thought you it was. Said he wasn't fucking it. Tell your truth, bro. Tell your truth, bro. I want to say this about it, though. I think Ross had it wrong, though, when he talked about Old Buddy Knows. Cause, oh, the uh, surgery on his nose. Because, 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 y'all have y'all ever seen Drake's mama? No, I don't be paying attention. Uh, she got a big nose. I think the nose. She white. No, I, I think that. Yeah, she white. I think that, yeah, she, well, she, she got a snout. She, she, <laughs> she can smell some shit. <laughs> but what did he? Oh, oh. You're, you're saying that he didn't. He, he, he got. He didn't get the surgery part wrong. He got who, who he was hiding from. Uh. <laughs> 
Yeah, some of them jokes. Because you know like, what his mama is. Yeah, but his, his nose has gotten smaller. It, 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 I actually got... had this, uh, like, I was doing, like, I don't know, I think I was getting, like, pictures from the, uh, for, like, the episodes and shit like that. So mm-hmm. I was going to Google. And I had to go down a wormhole, like, two or three weeks ago. Well, I was like, Drake, so far gone, does not look anything like this current version of Drake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know if, like, you just, like, grew up this much in, like, inside, like, those years from, like, I didn't, I didn't 21 to, like, 38, whatever he is I right now. I didn't notice it but, yesterday. Like they look like different people almost. He start. He look more black now. I don't know if he looks more black. I know that. Like he used to have like the like the real crunchy uh, forehead. Whereas he had a lot of meat up there. I think that no Diddy. Yeah, no Diddy. That's crazy. (laughs) It looked like he had like some uh, some Botox. Um, but it it, it was the forehead. It was the hairline, and it was the like the eyes, like something dealing with like this area. Yeah. <laughs> oh. These guys are mature, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Said meat on the floor. Yeah, yeah, meat on the floor. Said he had a lot of meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh man, that was fun. We go up to comments. Okay. But yeah, now the raw shit was fired to me. He the new big three. That nigga took cold place. I fuck with him. Oh man. I could, oh. I could have a class for this motherfucker back in the day. We would have got kicked out. Yeah, I was getting kicked out all the time. <laughs> got kicked out I remember, bro, in my chemistry class, the teacher just put me in the back by my stealing. She just had to move my desk all the way in the back. What you got in the comments? Oh. <clears throat> Rat beef always starts light, but you can't control where it goes if it gets out of hand. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, hip hop hip hop started off with MCs being braggadocious, but nowadays these guys take too many personal shots. Some things should be left alone. Unless it's beef, though. Um, preach real, Drake being, well, that's a, cl- being a clown. Beef. That's the big difference between a battle and beef. You said mm-hmm. what? Um, preach real, Drake being a clown. Shout preach out to Trey. real. Oh, Drake being a clown. Clown. Mm-hmm. You you called Drake a clown? No, I think I don't know exactly what point he was talking about, but 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 is he a clown? Well, I mean, obviously, everybody in the industry says this nigga's a clown. Oh, so you are. Some of these niggas who well, say I mean, I don't care clowns 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 clowns, <laughs> But I'm just saying, like, the, the general, true. from what I understand. That's the truth about it. Some of them the clowns. General, this nigga's always. Bro, we ain't, been matter of fact, we ain't gonna just. I, I, one, one line I got the dog on the dress that we did not address. I feel like Metro just caught the worst out of it. You can't just tell a nigga, <laughs> so nigga shut go. your whole ass up and play some drums and make some go drums, make some nigga. Drums. That's disrespectful. That, very bro. Disrespectful. Hey, this that was disrespectful, bro. What can Metro do in the beef if a nigga tell you to just go play some All you can do is make another beef. Beat, man. <laughs> he can produce that beat that uh Kendrick eat though. It don't matter. But then nobody shut your whole ass up. You shut your whole ass up, and made some drugs. Yeah, you ain't you ain't gonna get a word in though. Like the only <laughs> thing you can do is be like, nah, I ain't gonna make no more beats. Mm-hmm. And oh, you're clearly man. gonna make more beats. What I would do, I, I would go on Instagram, I would make a post of all my produced uh beats that I have with Drake mm-hmm. and my percentage of it and being I'm eating off your catalog. That's probably the, the way I, I would like beef back on it. Yeah, but a nigga still could come back and talk. Just talk to you. Don't get to get your voice in really Drake. like that. <laughs> you don't get to get your voice in like that. Drake still probably got a higher percentage than him too. That's going that wouldn't even help. No, I'm just saying that you're eating off it off his uh, catalog. Um, uh, remember Drake got smacked up by Diddy. Thanks. Yeah, that was true. Cole whooped Diddy. Cole didn't whoop. He ain't whooping. Yeah. But he, like, y'all gotta he, stop being like you going like full Covenger. <laughs> like you just rewriting all the histories. Like I'm a Cole fan too. Me like too. right now, I, but I'm not, yeah. I'm a, like I'm gonna call it as fair as I possibly can. Nah, you Me? OD though. Like I think, no, you, yeah, you, I think you I think you a, a little bit hater. more emotional about it at this point. It's no, not I'm, that serious. I'm, I'm not emotional at all. That I think went, that, he, to me, he went to the Dreamville concert and heard he the apology first. Hey, he was with, hit different. Hey, and then he, and then <laughs> he, he, remember, he remember moping out of the uh, out of the joint. Everybody <laughs> was moping out. Niggas did it first. Niggas was right. that. I, I I was more shocked. Like I can't believe this nigga did it. But no, I mean, like to me, <laughs> nigga, like I don't pay like, for these Dreamville. I, what I'm what I'm most of. I'm not the fest was fire. So I ain't I don't really have no resentment about it. Like I said, all my my shirt and my hat. I'm gonna call it my um I'm sorry hat and shirt. But outside of that, I think that it's fun. It's a lot of jokes to be made. So, like, to me, I don't take any of it serious because it's at the end of the day, it's who my favorite rapper is. And then it's, like, entertainment. So, like, I don't care enough to have, like, a personal investment inside that. 
So then I, I can just, like shoot the jokes. Like if that was Drake or Kendrick that did the thing, I'll be going just as hard. So I can't cop the plea of like, I don't know, pseudo loyalty to Cole just because of he did some fuck shit and I got to pretend like it's cool. No, like, no, no. I, I call, you ain't got to pretend like it's cool, but it's the whole pussy and all that. Like, oh, no, I think that the way, like, you were in the safest rap serious. battle in history, and you had nightmares of Kendrick, so you you backed out. That's so, pussy. I mean, at the end of the day. Inside the rap form right. of pussy. We'll nightmares, take it. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. What's up? In rap pussy, that's uh, what I mean. Yeah. Drake is not a great MC, but Drake is one of the greatest rappers to ever do it, because how many rappers do you know that can make hit songs off of his boy 40 Beats? No, 40 be having some fire beats. So I'm not going to uh, Yeah, I think 40 got some vibe beats too. Um, Drake is going to always went to the masses because he's a pop star. The rest are mm -hmm. rappers and MCs. Agreed. Agreed. That's what I was saying about the re like, like there, there, there will be the divide. Be interesting. <clears throat> that, that, that's like their bases are almost. And, and that was the line that, I was getting yeah. to. Like the, the pop star, like the pop, the pop part of me actually likes what Drake did. Like this, his track is more catchy than anybody else has came with. Like you can still bop to it and this nigga still saying some stuff. This and nigga tone like twerking by the way. So just so y'all know, you see what he was just doing? Mm -hmm. high twerking on your mom. <laughs> he was just twerking. I didn't look at that as twerking. It looked like it's bobbing his head. Yeah. No, 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 you ain't catching. Okay. You can't I ain't seen like, it. Like I ain't twerking on your mom. I just seen him do that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why this guy's got, paying attention the, the to angle, what, 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 what like, right here. I don't know why he's paying attention to my hip. That nigga twerker. I mean, he. I ain't think I was twerking, but he was paying attention. Damn. Hey, Tony, tell them to quit looking under the table. Uh, I'm like, I got a whole table in front of me. This guy looking under the table. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Now, that's all the comments right there. We going to, um, what are we going into next? Or final thoughts on this? Um, Like I said, uh, Rick Ross is into my big three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what about Future? Future in it now? Hell no. That's you another thing. Future might as well hang it up, bro. It's what? over with, bro. <laughs> what? I feel like Future Miners will I, hang it up, bro. I'm taking a long time. I, 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 I'm on cold side, but I don't thing. believe that. that this like, is my thing. Is like let me give you my reasoning. Okay, go ahead. Also, I haven't, I've been uninterested in listening to anything Future has had to say in, in like the past few years. That's me just being honest. I've not, like, even the, 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 the project, I don't care nothing about what Future has to say. Like, to me, the, the, the sound is old, is old as fuck. The sound that like all of that shit is just trash to me now. Like, I feel like he might as well hang it up. For me, I'm not, I'm uninterested. Like, and then he's like literally the same, the saying the same shit over and over too. I'm tired of hearing the same shit. And then you pretty much talk about all these drugs and shit that you don't do over and over and over and over and over. Like, bro, and once you tell the truth and say I don't do this, and then you come that your whole fucking. Your well, I, whole I think he has, he has like a new lie. He just talking about like 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 you know what I mean fucking fucking niggas bitches and like street shit that he can get niggas to do. That's his, his more recent uh, what it sounds like. Get but he didn't get off the perch. That's his, a bit. But oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Old he, old he, he don't really he don't really be talking Nobody about like cares anymore, bro. But what I will say is that Nobody cares, bro. Actually a lot of people uh, care still. This shit catch Like uh, he he keeps having like records that resonate in the culture every year. Like if 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 it's Let's, Go ahead. I'm, I'm Go ahead. trying to get it off real quick. Get um, it off, bro. Yeah, like future, oh. like I said, why, why I said that that's a bad take is only because of you have outgrown his music. The masses have not at all. Like every year he has a new one. Well, at least like, literally every year. You. She said, I'm a real 100, 100. Yeah, 100. that shit's trash. <laughs> bro. Know, Nobody, again, everything, but, the last joint, Dirty Sprite, bro, that shit was cold. Dirty Sprite 2 was cold. Like, <laughs> and after that, bro, I'm like, oh, no, bro, I'm not worried. About, I don't want to hear this shit anymore, <laughs> bro. Um, and, 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 and again, like that's where, like for you, you have like a uh, like a disdain for, even though like Dirty Sprite is about as worse future as you can get. But what he what he has did every single year has been, he's the longest running trap rapper to keep making hits. There's nobody from the 2010s that is still making trap hits, and he does it every year. Do I have to listen to it? No, but it is every year one that make it to my desk, and I'd be like that bit. Right, yeah, no, and that's just the no. truth of it. I don't have to like him. I ain't got to fuck with him. I don't listen to a future album. But eventually, just like our boss man D Lo, he, he got something that end up on your desk. I don't know who that is. It end up like, on I don't your care desk. About my life. <laughs> <laughs> Shit tough. Yeah, like that one. Yeah, I don't know like that one. Yeah, that one tough. It, it, like, if you take Kendrick off like that, that shit is still fire. I'm just being honest. Well, yeah, I, I definitely had to fast forward that shit to get to Kendrick's first, bro. That bitch. And I was done after that, bro. I literally, bro, literally, just me being honest. Like, I'm the nigga, bro. I just wanted to get to the verse. 
This nigga, bro, why he always sound he crying and shit, bro? I don't want to hear that shit, bro. Shit is trash, bro. It was cool at first, but now that shit trash to me. Um, Drake got the whole industry praying on his downfall. That's a fact. No, for sure. They uh, didn't. They didn't form Voltra. Um, uh, what we giving our, our last thoughts on it? I think we just did. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, I, so I, best I, verse, best verse out of the, that what we heard so far. Who you got? Oh, I gotta give it to Drake. I gotta give it to the okay. yeah. I, I, well, I think Drake had the most. No, 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 nigga. You you ain't gotta explain it. Well, no, to the me, best verse to, to you. Me, was Drake. I think Drake said the most disrespectful stuff so far. It was the best verse. Yeah. Quint, best verse. Um, King. Best verse, I I still probably say that uh, I go with Ross second verse. Um, and to me, I, I I don't care like if it's this is something that I, I hate in beef. This is like a, a thirty second tangent. I don't care for like all the fact checking and like this nigga said fifty percent and he also do. I just care if the hit if the shit hit and if it's fire. Mm-hmm. That can be done through bars. Like Kendrick had the K uh, nine Pet Cemetery. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, my, was like that's fire. And if you if you have like a, a a good punch, like I thought the the top told you drop and give me fifty. I thought mm-hmm. that was a witty way to go. Mm-hmm. Whether whichever one is it, it, it's, it's true or not, it's just fire. And that's what I judge it off of. But I think that if I went with fire and consistency, I'm going with my boy Ross. That and that outro was and, was the best offering inside this beef. And outro. you know the you know the funny thing is I didn't think that me and he was going to agree, uh, but I actually I'm a Ross fan. I'm gonna go Ross. Like, like I say, Drake had his, and it sounded like something that'll play on the radio. You know what I mean? All of that. That was cool. It was a pop. It was a pop disc. Yeah. Ross the big. It's three. like a pop disc. You know what I mean? I ain't giving Ross big three, but I'll say that like I ain't giving Ross big three. But what I will say is my the one that I like the most was the Ross shit. The one that's gonna be replayed for me is the Ross shit. I'm not really. You know what I mean? I can't go. I, I, I like the outro on the Raw shit. I can't lie. We, we got the talking pop. That nigga Raw yeah, presentation, yeah. it says beef. Like, his whole shit yeah, say yeah, like yeah. smoke, nigga. This yeah, what you yeah, hilarious. Yeah. yeah, white boy. I, I fuck with Raw, boy. <laughs> white boy. Yeah, that's, that's the new white boys used to come around and be. Yeah. He <laughs> said something about him getting, getting picked no, 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 on. No, 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 no. When he say, uh, you got you got your uh, khaki, the dockers on with, with the no t-shirt. Draws with no draws. <laughs> I died. I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. Yeah, I'm going with the Ross. I gotta go with Drake, bro. And I, and I, that ain't even what I want to do. But I'm like, nah, I gotta go with Drake. Wait, I think, none I, of the Cole Avengers had Cole as the best. Damn. <laughs> but I I told, no okay, so I told you how I feel about it though. With mm-hmm. Cole. Cole, it's like, I, I, I think I'm a bias. I, I want to like Cole's verse better. <laughs> I like how Cole presented it better. But if I'm going overall, like, I'm sitting there thinking about it in my head. Like, if we going off of bars and we going off of Entertainment factor, and, and then you got the bronze and the beef. Drake, Drake just puts yeah, it on. Drake, damn. Drake put. Nah, all I'm saying is Drake puts the, the package. Is, Drake puts the package together every time, like better, like than a lot of niggas, bro. Like, no, I agree oh, with that. But, the but the thing, I, I, I was about to get him. But I think that was a good point. The right. thing is, is that once once Cole apologized, that does drop. As far as the beef goes, that drops him all the way down. Yeah, At yeah. the end of the day, he that dropped all the way down. Ball, that track is, as far as the yeah, disc goes, yeah. that track is definitely yeah. at the bottom of the totem pole, at least for me. You know what I mean? So that's why yeah. Ross can get it. Like I don't even honestly, I didn't even consider Coles when I when I just thought about it. It was like, yeah, that shit doesn't matter anymore now. Now it's just Drake, uh, Drake, uh, uh, and and Ross at this point. Well, I think it went from a battle to a beef. I think now it's upgraded right. into a, this is a beef now. This ain't like no niggas just rapping. No, these niggas really don't like each other. They, this is right. a beef. All right. Well, maybe. I, I, Kendrick had, I, I don't think Drake has said anything that crossed the line with Kendrick yet either. Like all his actual real beef bars was with They said uh, that weekend. nigga had a size seven shoe, bro. That's kind of. Yeah, he that, that's, such, <laughs> that's a very like lightweight. That, that's no different than Cole saying your arm's too short to box with the guys. Not true. Uh, okay. That's true. It, it's like that didn't reach over. He actually didn't really do it. Like all the real personal shit was towards John Morant. It was t- towards the weekend. Metro. Um, Metro. But he was really Ross. on the. <laughs> I can't he didn't really exactly dig at Ross like that, but it, I just remember him when he when he came and he said Rick. He said something like it was the office of Ricky thing and mm. you you too old to be hopping in beef. Somebody said that's what I'm saying. Like none of those things are actually past surf. The weekend shit was because he was talking about Nick can't be inside his hometown and shit like that. Um and Metro, he called him a bitch. 
Uh, whatever he called oh, it. Oh, sit your whole ass up. <laughs> but he actually Cross, didn't nigga. cross the beef, the battle beef line in my opinion. Oh, he called Kend- Kendrick a bitch a couple times, too. What did he say that he See, called See, I don't remember it right off, but yeah. I remember yeah. hearing him. He said, lyrics. the yeah. whole drop and give me 50 was like an insinuation that Kendrick was. Oh, he no, said bitch. We're we going to see how this play out next And that's what like, you got to know when he's talking to who. Because yeah. he actually he named the person. Like, like when he said Abel, and he was talking about how that, that he was tricking off on niggas like, like bitches. Yeah. None of that was towards Kendrick at all. Yeah, yeah. No, I knew that was weekend. Yeah, but the it, craziest it, part, somebody said the 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 nigga that's most likely to shoot uh Drake is John Morant. <laughs> 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 Got all the niggas. All right, can we go into yeah. a quick I, I, this is this is one of those uh who who was using or oh, not? Nah, this wasn't y'all. This was Keith. But um Drake dating a twenty one year old at thirty eight. How do y'all feel about that? Well, Drake, that, it's just, I feel like it makes sense for Drake, bro. Drake is one of, the, I, honestly, I think it's he's probably a weirdo. I think Drake's a weirdo. But, so, all right, so what you, I'm, I'm trying to real, real life, aside from you, saying saying that I think Drake's weirdo, a weirdo. You're saying that's weirdo behavior. For for a, a 38 year old man to want to entertain a 21 year old, yeah, a lot of little sister. Well, I mean, if you, it depends on what oh, you're, it, it depends on what you're getting from her. Like, if if, if it's just a sexual a relationship. relationship, if it's just a sexual relationship, then whatever, bro. But if you're talking about building a, rela- a real a relationship, relationship. Yeah. I don't know what that, I don't know what how real the relationship is. I don't think it's another it rap about it. I guess it doesn't and, make and, sense. And take pictures and shit. I mean, pictures and shit. You, if you can, you can drop some shit off and take pictures. If you're single and nobody gives a fuck, nobody gives a fuck. But if you're actually dating a 21 year old, or like you, if you really like her and like I'm a plan my next 20 years with this 21 year old. Weird old. Y'all think he in a midlife crisis? Because I do remember that scene where Yachty called him old and he he got kind of upset about. But that that nigga's (laughs) always emotional, man. That nigga's to me. Drake is probably in real life a dweeb. And you know what I mean? He's a weirdo. Like if he never okay, got so money. You, so you like do, yeah, if he never got money, at his heart, he's probably a dweeb. I, so, I uh, Johnny, him dating a 21-year-old, how do you feel about that? I like, mean, John Morant dating her makes sense. They're similar in age. But yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you feel about that? 38 and 21. I think, is like, that too much of a gap? Is that predatory? What, what's some words that we be using? Like, it's legal. So, I mean, it's not like. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely so, legal. So, like, yeah, I mean, we can't, you got, we got to be careful, you know, because it's, it's, it's okay. You know, we might have a, you know, judgment on it, but it's. I don't think anybody trying to R. Kelly. Him. But you, you have to no Kelly. Though. Yeah, just no, 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 no Kelly. Kelly. No, no Kelly. No Kelly. No Kells. But, yeah. like, I mean, if you're 38 and you're dating a 21 year old, like, actually, like, really seriously, you really like this person, you're probably like, of you, you're stunted in growth. So, mm-hmm. Like you're stuck in I your twenty. So yeah. that's that, that. That's when you're thirty eight. Putting nail polish on is a problem. I agree. That's for the young yeah. boys. Like I can get get. I can give Jalen Green that and all them young no boys, boys that shit. That ain't for no boys, bro. It's it's a, it's a part. It's out. a part of the uh like the whatever like the youth culture shit that, is. No, I'm I'm not I'm not. That nigga say don't make. That nigga, <laughs> I'm not going. That nigga Drake said don't make it. I was just trying to finish the point. He said something about chipping the nail. I did hear that. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. But what I'm saying is that there is counterculture shit that is not for our age group. Um, whatever you look at that as, like there, there was like the little man purse thing, or like it, it'd be like a bunch of different little things in which I think that there is an age range for it, no matter what it is. And I think that doing like 21 year old shit is just is just out of its uh, out of its range. <laughs> I'm not fucking going. <laughs> no, no. So y'all, boy, y'all trying to now? Nah, well, before we get into the um to the rock paper scissors, I think it's a good segue point to go ahead and address OJ Simpson passing this week. Um, oh yeah, y'all see what uh what which one is the Jenner dad? Oh, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Oh yeah, y'all see what Caitlyn said? No. Nah. Oh, she's some good riddance. Good riddance. Yeah, she she was hyped about him dying. Um, real quick, we got a couple of, <laughs> hey, couple of comments said, from the last topic. Somebody said something about nobody cares what you think, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> That is wild. I did see that. Yeah, I will, I will play a quick clip of OJ. Um, but before we go there, um, we got a couple comments. If you were 38 and your interests are the same as someone 21, especially getting into a relationship with them, you probably need to go get some counseling. Agree. I agree. Um, and no, can't co-sign nail polish. <laughs> agree. I ain't going. I'm not going. All right. Um, this clip was from. Yeah, no, this I, clip. I don't think anybody was co-signing it. I, to me, I, I understand like youth doing youth shit. And so like they're gonna do shit that I don't care about at all. You I'm can't be a grown ass person that. doing it. That's my that's my only point. I think Drake going through a mid like crisis, bro. That's like, my thing. I think it's the age limit on it. Like, and that's what I'm saying. It's the age limit to no, young shit. I ain't going. 
All right, like you, um, you're not saying a thing that rebuttals anything. Quick, quick clip from it. OJ, real quick, and and y'all just tell me what y'all think it is. This is a quick clip from um, Mason Cameron. I showed her. I'm um, not black. I'm oh, I know OJ. them niggas. Yeah, hilarious. yeah. I know this about to be. Said men shouldn't open up to women because they'll use it against them. He said, whenever something go down, they're gonna throw it back in your face. Do y'all agree? OJ first. OJ first. Uh, <laughs> when you say open up to women, I don't know what he's talking about is he talking about confession I think you right. Don't say nothing. It was your, it was, it was your lying eyes. <laughs> so leave me out of the confession. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, confession! Nigga <laughs> <laughs> say he is not usher. No. Yeah. Y'all gotta leave me I out of this. I all these episodes. <laughs> yeah, who say that? <laughs> no confession. <laughs> no confession. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna leave that with a dick because they go off for a minute <laughs> laughing. <at you. laughs> No, that's just a hilarious uh, thing for OJ to say. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> OJ to take it from yeah, he, he, he plays along that line up. I, I think he understood how to lean into it. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I guess uh, probably re what I, I, I don't condolences to, you know what I mean? The, the Simpson uh, family and all that shit. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he did or didn't do it. Um, but what he was, especially prior to that entire thing, like he was... One of them guys, OJ was in roots. OJ was like, outside of I'm not black, I'm OJ, he was a figure that superseded color. And that's where the whole statement uh, ended up coming from. Like, he was the guy. He was the greatest running back of all times at a period. Um, yeah, he was on Hertz commercials and like, like he was he like was the him. first like mainstream like athlete where they were putting them, taking them and putting them in yeah. all the commercials and stuff. He was like one of the first ones. The crazy part is that I'm not black, I'm OJ line is like, kind of the thing going on today okay with a lot of men i'm not black i'm <laughs> i'm this like but we getting into that conversation wednesday i was gonna say y'all boys ready to take an L. what's up nigga? nah we get into that conversation oh you can tell my thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> god damn it Bro, how Johnny keep beating y'all, bro? bro this nigga, and this nigga been doing rock every week. And he make it, yeah, all the Every way. single week. He ain't, no, what, he ain't got nothing good rock. Yeah. <laughs> please, please, please. This nigga Johnny been with it every week. What's the order, Johnny? Hugh Rail, I'm going to go last. And yeah, if you, you you probably got some. You go first. Um, I do got a couple of them in there. NBA. Nigga. Yeah, it's the type of white I want to be. Riding around this motherfucker with my whole family. <laughs> bitch, we're driving in the fucking sea. <laughs> bitch, I'm driving a car. Bitch, I just came off the fucking street. Credit score say E E. Yeah, look at me, white family. Bitch, I'm getting every bit of that money. Huh? Can't fuck with me. Back bitch driving out the sea. Bitch, you can't see what I drove out the sea. I'm white, I got a white family. Yes, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, this the type of white I wanna be. Uh, Riding around this motherfucker. I wouldn't even try to play it, bro. Whole... Just play it automatically. I wouldn't even try to go there. <laughs> the type of white I wanna be. Okay, I'm gonna have fun first. Um, I think because mm -hmm. I've been inside the FBA, um, paid African, like, era of uh, YouTube and algorithm and shit like that, it's fed me a page that ended up being really funny to me in which it says uh what is it it's slightly racist videos and if you can we can kind of run through a couple of these really quickly hit refresh because I, I took some of those off just because bro i'm still in my head this is the type of white i want to be <laughs> all right perfect uh lisa mix laughing too so. <laughs> all right well, which clip is it bro uh start down it's gonna i'm gonna run like three Oh, is it a, is it one? Which one? Let me see where we can start at. Scroll down, scroll down. Start hey, with I don't like uh, the John look like shorts look like they shorter than they is. Start with uh, uh -oh. start with a KFC like, person asking some questions. Hey, get him dead, Gooch. <laughs> We're not Gooch. What they say yet? What was it? So the, this the one starts off. It says uh, a KFC person asks a dumb question. 
Because I'm black? <laughs> <laughs> me? Racist? Of course not. I can't be racist. If you want shadow tell, you can just keep scrolling this way. Against me because she I'm just black. said my shadow was black. <laughs> yeah. Me? Racist? Of course not. I can't be racist. My shadow is black. Me no, too. I like Let's water. Let's take it the other way. Yeah. The other way. Meet me, you child. This one. Meet me, dingy child. Let me order everything from the KFC menu. Bing, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> bing, ding, ding. <laughs> And that was crazy, right? He gave him the whip. It was crazy. He <laughs> said, no, no, you can't. Because you did this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going. Keep going the other way. When the KFC. KFC. You remind me of Lego Piece 11031. Oh, shit. Thanks. Hold on. What is that? Oh man. Damn. Crazy. Go to the okay. next. That was very racist. That was super <laughs> racist. <laughs> Mom serves the burnt person his favorite food. Oh, oh shit. The burnt person. Enjoy. Wait, Mom. Why is he not eating the burgers you just made? I thought he might like that better. What's she bring him? Oh, fried she chicken and watermelon it. and some Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Kool Aid. Crazy. Crazy. Now go to the next one. It might be that. What is that? Chicken, watermelon, and uh, within the top. Oh my god. Top, that top ramen can go in. Top ramen out of there. Bro, top, yeah. top ramen. I haven't top eaten top ramen since college. Kool Aid, Kool -Aid, Kool -Aid can go. I haven't made Kool Aid since yeah, college. Too. Keep, keep um, I ain't getting rid of fried chicken. No, that's my ain't sitting there and judge. That's what they all they want. You can X out of this. Um. So, again, I. That compilation was my first first meme. I, I have dark humor at times. I thought that that was hilarious. I was just scrolling, and I was like, "These niggas is really getting off." And it's also interesting that that content actually exists out there on the internet. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that I, I, I think that everybody can be made fun of. It's funny to me. I think everybody can be made fun of, bro. Whether the, the, the there's no community that is off limits to jokes, and if you if your sense of humor if you can't laugh at yourself. Mm -hmm and laugh at shit, bro, then I don't know what to say to you. Though I do think that calling black people a KFC person is crazy. That's crazy. Calling us a burnt person is crazy. No, that's crazy. Like, that, like those are crazy <laughs> statements for sure. But like, that's there, there is a, it's not, it's, it's a lot of blatant racism that is existing within this. But again, I, I have a crazy humor. Um, KFC ain't even on the top of my list. I think yeah. that uh, let's go into a. This one should be fairly quick, so we we can go go to top left. Um, just a sec. What is right now? Nah, right here. Your boyfriend yep. got traded like athletes. Yeah, 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 I thought that this was funny. I gave you the ache when I asked if I could stop and tie my shoes, but I promise you, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> you traded me? What do you mean? Did the Chiefs win the Super Bowl? Oh, yeah, they did. Jerry Williams, former University of Miami standout, first year boyfriend and second year data analyst has been traded from Stacey Basin, a second year girlfriend, third year nail tech in Atlanta, Georgia, to Clarissa White, a first year girlfriend and second year med student in Nashville, Tennessee. In return, Stacey is receiving a second round marriage pick in 2027 and a first round guy best friend pick in 2025. Amidst this shakeup, Stacey has also opted to re-sign her ex-boyfriend to a one-year, two-way contract. In 2023, Jerry Williams averaged three compliments per day, one date per week, and an 80% active listening rating. Jerry's season took a turn for the worse after he was suspended for commenting, I'll do anything for you under Sydney Sweeney's post. This What's up, Clarissa Country? It's your boy Jerry here. Excited to get out to Nashville and do what it do. See you on our first date. Hey, babe, I'm sorry I gave you the ick when I. I just thought that was hilarious. If you know how, like, when 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 kids sign to a, a school or when they transfer over and they give that little uh the little speech that he gave, that was hilarious. To me. Hey, the transfer portal open. Yeah. Um. All right. So, in like more of an actual conversation, uh. Tone the two middle ones. I want you to go to those back to back and actually be able to frame a conversation. Talking about these two happen. right here. Yep. So start with with homie. That is, um, okay. That what you saying? 
We can keep doing this over and over and over again with the boomers calling millennials and Gen Z lazy. I don't understand why you're not on our side. The boomers have a lot of money, but a lot of you are broke. That's why they have senior citizen discounts. You don't have any money. You went to school from five years old to 18 years old, then worked for 50 years and have no money. You should be on our side that we're screaming for the rooftops that financial education needs to be taught. We're actually excited as a generation that we're talking about financial literacy. We're all ready to invest in a Roth IRA and save for a house and pull out money and do a rental property. But after the pandemic, we picked our head up and Big Macs are $18, rent is $3,000, and the average house is $450,000. So you have people in their late 20s with bachelor's degree looking at their $65,000 worth of debt and their $16 left over at the end of their month going, do I put this $16 towards my debt? Do I put it towards saving for a house or do I order f***ing Chipotle? They're ordering f***ing Chipotle. <laughs> because they're living paycheck to paycheck. You should be rooting us on that we're finally talking and sharing these stories and trying to help millennials and Gen Zs and future generations have financial education, discipline, and budgeting. We're finally figuring this out, but now the whole world got f***ed. Now we sold this beautiful country to corporations over the past 30 to 40 years, and it's been sold off for parts, and we've raised the, the debt to $35 trillion. They're taxing us 40%, then the money that we have left is being devalued because we keep printing a trillion dollars every three months. Yeah. That is not good. This is what we're fighting for. We can keep doing this over and over and over again with the boomers calling millennials and Gen Z lazy. I don't understand why you're not on our side. The boomers have a lot of money, but yes, a sir, lot of you it. are broke. Yeah. Um, Next video, right? Yeah. In which is just, it's just a meme. Um... Shout out to the master investor, Ian. Put a one in the chat if you uh lost me money. One. But uh yeah. If y'all if y'all know what he's what he <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. that nigga lost me some goddamn money. But uh fuck him. Hey, bro, Black Robin Hood be going in on his ass every day. But every um <laughs> No, I thought that this was interesting though, if you if y'all read it. Uh single adult, ninety four thousand. This is the salary that you need to live comfortable. In uh, Tampa, St. Petersburg. Yeah. A uh, single adult, ninety four K. Uh national average is 93k two working adults with two children 209k um and so I, i'll i'll drop those Jeez. two memes uh in there and i imagine it's an interesting conversation to have i'll toss it in the air whoever wants it yeah i i, I disagree with the the uh the, that right there i don't know i've never lived in tampa so i don't know what the fuck it really like the cost of living is there but i don't think it takes ninety four thousand dollars for you to live comfortably as a single person I don't believe so. That shit just sounds stupid. As a single person, I think 94 is a, a little high. I mean, it's a lot it, it just depends on what people mean by comfortably, though. That's kind of a subjective term. See, my, my comfort thing is might comfortably be different would be with, with having your else's. needs met, absolute needs met. I would just, Once you get your needs met, anything over that is comfortable, right? Would you disagree? I don't know if that. Once the needs are met, once you have because everything you need, and then you have a little bit over what you need, that will be comfortable, right? Well, I don't think I, I don't, just, I don't agree just a little over what you need. Yeah, I think, I think that comfort is like way over what you need. Oh, if comfort is way over what you need, then yeah, I mean, I guess shit, you can pick any fucking I, I don't number think at that, that point. That's necessarily the answer either. You can just pick a damn number. But uh, I'll, <laughs> comfortably, uh, you can pick a number. Well, let me. Well, I mean, I, maybe the numbers on that particular slide is wrong. What think on the first slide? What he was saying made a lot of sense. I agree with as you. far as like we have stole this. I, I was talking to my buddy at work about this yesterday. We have the country. We we sold it to the to the corporations, corporations for sure. This this ain't a you know the media is owned by all the corporations. They buying up all the land, all our food. Even like what our doctors tell us. That's run corporations tell them what to tell us. So everything is corporations. But and then we're paying forty percent tax. That they're doing God knows what with, you know, sending it to Israel, you know, Ukraine, doing what. And then the leftover money, we deal with inflation. We're dealing with the government used doing kind of loose tactics with our money. You know, they're just printing it and, and sending it everywhere. So I totally, you know, agree with that. That's why, like, the boomers should agree with some of the stuff that the Gen, Gen Z are talking about. Because it does, it, it is speaking to even in the the playing field for the average everyday person. Yeah. Um and I guess so I think th there was a couple of different parts to it that I thought was interesting. And I'll try and circle back to uh, Rail's question or a statement that he made. Um so one, I think that Gen like the the boomers are complaining about being lazy is different than like how much money like people are making and what makes sense. So I think their complaint about lazy is probably closer to the idea of how like millennials and like the younger you get, there is a, a culture of not wanting to do as much. Like like the idea of worker burnout didn't exist inside boomer time. Mm -hmm. Like they was running 60 hours and making like whatever they was making up 
albeit that was enough to actually provide for a family, like inside one, uh, like a one person working family. But at the same time, like I, I know for a fact, like I benefit at my job from millennials because of, if they try and make us work a little bit too hard, them motherfuckers Hell will be yeah. like, hey, we might have a worker burnout meeting soon. And mm. then they'd be like, oh, okay, we'll add an action. Hey, you got to send that young motherfucker in there to and go listen, talk to I'll be cool with it all. I, like, to me, shit, be, I'll be thinking I'd be getting off half the time. So, yeah, that, so, um, yeah, so I understand like that space HR. of where, where they could complain, like to pretend like our generation isn't a little bit softer would be kind of like, like being like not good face. But at the same time, there is the conversation which he kind of like directed it to where he got into the idea that their generation could, could properly survive comfortably off of a one income household. Mm -hmm. Like what the median one income household was, you could raise a family off. And buy a house. And buy a house. Oh, like you, you could, you could oh. do all of the above. Mm -hmm. In which that doesn't exist in today. So like now it looks different. Like, and that even like bleeds itself into relationships and shit like that. Um, what you said, uh, needs, uh, no, 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 not needs. Um, comfortable being, being able to uh, pay for all the things that you need. I think that that's living check to check. No, I'm talking, but go ahead, go ahead. No, no well, I, I guess like to me, when, when you said that, um, like if you, if you are pay, being able to pay all the things that you need and like you have a little left over, I don't think that that's comfortable. I think that comfortable, in my opinion, would be closer to uh, when you're able to pay all the things that you need, um, you're able to have like your rainy day fund, you're able to be able to save and then have leisure money. To me, that would be kind of like closer to being comfortable. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I would assume that like there's going to be levels to comfortable that can go all the way to the fucking roof. Uh, but like to I'm me, just talking about baseline, uncomfortable. well, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know. I think everybody died. Everybody's idea of needs is different as well. So, um, <clears throat> I definitely don't think it takes you pretty much $95,000 a year. Well, I want to go to like specifically that number to but, my numbers in general, but okay. I think that I, I wanted that just to give, and of course, like depending on the space too, because a lot of that in which Florida, it could actually be closer to that. Because Could really be. what it comes down to is your rent. How much your rent is. Same way like New York right. making a teachers make close to a hundred thousand. Because the rent up there right. is like four thousand. Right, right. And so like that and then uh I think like it's like their good a lot of their goods are overpriced to the to mm -hmm. the area. I know that Miami is like that. I don't know about Tampa. But right. they like in Tampa, if Tampa is but in general, like we can all say here in Charlotte. Now it's it's kind of it's, hard it's, to be like it's single creeping, it's creeping and, there, and so. live at like sixty four k. Well, no, I know that I know that like uh, the, uh there was somebody I just uh moved Five in yesterday. They, they 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 live in off Mallet Creek and they got like a one bedroom room with like an office and it was a it was a pretty nice place for it was actually it was pretty nice I liked it uh but it was twelve fifty a month which I don't think a like one bedroom I mean that's that's more than off Mallet Creek that's yeah. right. But, or, I need to see that. Like right off of it. Well, I mean, like, I'm about to say five years a, ago, that, that shit didn't exist. Well, I mean, this That's is a fact. I'm, I'm, I'm saying like I, the person is close enough to me to, oh, to, no, me to know I, that it's true. I guess I'm not saying that they're lying. I'm yeah. saying I would like to see the space oh, yeah, in the no, neighborhood well, in, in the area that they're in. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, it was it was a night like the area is like right off of 485. It's like literally directly, maybe two minutes off 485. Oh, is it, uh, so, is that, so that's like campus living in. No, 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 no. It's not campus living. It, if it's right over, not. Well, either, way, I, either, way, <clears throat> either way, it's not even okay. that serious. Um, what I'd say, like, you know what I mean, 12, between 12 and what, what would we say, 14, a one-bedroom apartment. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, now, I that, guess, that, yes, that's, be, that, that's pretty much what, what, what they're running. Um, what would your salary need to be to be able to afford that? I think that that's going to push you closer to, like, 50, 55. Well, they say you're supposed, supposed to have, like, yeah. you're supposed to make, like, at least, like, three times yeah, whatever three times your, your, your rent is. I think that's, like, the... The metric, or right? I think that they're so going to be coming down you. on that anyway, though. I think that that's it's about forty five hundred, which is close to about. Like, I'm about, to, I'm about if it's fourteen, it's mm. forty two hundred. Which is fourteen, so that'd be that's about it's about forty eight, forty nine. fifty. Yeah, I, I think yeah. that even still, so I, I would say about fifty makes sense. Oh, but no, forty five to no, fifty no, no, makes no, sense no, for a single person. I got, I got. Uh, you done? Oh. oh yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, I, I know. He, but when they were talking about like Gen Z being uh, 
more lazy. Isn't that the case with like every generation? Like weren't the boomers lazier than their grandparents' generation? And so like how much of it's the evolution of autonomy. But yeah, like, uh, automation. But like, is, is, is Gen Z like more lazier than expected just based on like how technology makes your life easier? Or is that, well, I mean, like, we can they're not like unusually lazy. I think it's just a natural thing where everyone. Yeah, and usually so I think that we're, generation works like more intellectual jobs. Right. But if you think about it though, we're also uh, doing a lot more complaining than, than the junior gen. Like our, we're, we're definitely in a place where, uh, People care more about how you feel than ever. Like there's never been. Is that been, bad or good? Well, I mean, I think it's both. Because then it then then like like I listen to like when I listen to Andrew Tate, he say that like for him, uh, depression doesn't exist. Like it's not a thing. Like he's it's not possible for him. And and so I think that that's like. But do you that's, understand that's, his? But uh, I I know what he means by that. Like, right, do you right. Understand I've heard. What he means? Right, right. I understand what he means. He's saying that like because he doesn't believe in it, then it, it can't affect him. So he's never he never becomes victim to depression because he can't give that to you know what I mean. He it's always is in control. But he, he also of, doesn't uh, deny that he's been in depressive states. He just doesn't call it that. Okay. Okay. Fine. Well, what I'm saying is that uh, we're we're definitely we're it's not a question whether we're soft. That is definitely true. Yeah. Uh, and I think that with all of the additional, uh, the, 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 the time, it was like everything came at once. So it's like, now we're thinking about maybe shouldn't work 40 hours. Also, uh, people like all of this, we're, we're trying to accept more at one time than I believe we've ever tried to at the same time, which makes it, we're accepting of so many ideas at the same time that you have no choice but be softer if we're going to be so inclusive. This is the most inclusive time that we've ever had. And I think that it has, in order to be so inclusive, you have to be softer. Do you think our softness has benefited us or has it hurt us? I think it's done both. See, I think that both things, like when it comes down to, as, as we continue, uh, um, I think that it's gonna be both. So uh, if you, you look at, they pushed us into the jobs of more being more tech, technological, these more tech, technology uh, driven jobs. Then they're also in, in the same instance. Now they're trying to take these same jobs and let the computers work themselves. So I think there's going to be, I think there's going to be good and bad on all of it. Like you get softer, then you can say people may have healthier relationships and healthier friendships. And then motherfucker can't keep people at work. You know what I mean? Motherfucker call out for every fucking stump toe and shit. Like it's going to be good and bad on both. I think that we're probably, we have to, I think that we need to be more cognizant of the changes and what we need to do uh, to, to, to make sure that we don't cry ourselves to the point to where they feel like we're just, let's just not use them. We don't have, they crying all the time. You know what I mean? Let's just not use them. We'll use the machines and for everything because we don't have to worry about days off. We don't need to, we don't need them to, uh, we don't have to worry about any of these human shit that's going on because all diversity includes, you know what I mean? We just doing all of these things. It seems like these things are blowing up at the same time and we're like socially just everywhere. And then everybody has to be much more, uh, we have to be softer, like treading so lightly. Everybody's treading more lightly than we ever treated. But you know, workers, you know, are more productive. What do you mean? Yeah, in this era where people call out more, productive. and then this is the most right, productive generation. And a lot of it goes back to the yeah. fact that we're, we're, we're utilizing quote, technology. We're, we're, no, we're, we're, we're uh, that too, but so we're using a lot of that softness that's quote unquote, the mental health days, the breast, or the, 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 not breast, but rest, and it's making us more productive when you do go work. It's like the, the concept of you work four days a week, you'll probably be more productive than working five days because you're going to work four productive I'm days instead that. of like five and you're bullshitting like 30% of the time. So my question is though, is that if, if, if we do that, just think about the, the business model. So if we do that, then that means that we would need to hire more people. Because that means that we're going to have to make sure we have someone to take up for those days that these no, people are going to need. All. No, the people are being more productive, though. They're, they're, they're doing the same job. They're doing they're oh, the same amount of work, more work with the same staff while taking off more days. They're just more productive. So yeah, you wouldn't have to. You, 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 it'd be hard to argue for more people. When I, I would definitely argue that the tools of production have made things easier for us to be more productive. That's what it is. Right. And that's what, that's, that's what I, I can understand that, but not the idea that like, oh, because niggas is off work more, they're just working harder. I don't, I don't, but if you give them the tools to make it more productive, now that makes like sense to be a good argument. Well, no, but you don't think if somebody make you work five, 12 hours, you know, you at some point you're gonna burn out and be less productive. That's the study show, like you know. No, no, I agree with that. But what I'm saying is that that I think that then, especially now, I'm pretty sure that before they did that shit regularly. 
like in, in the concrete business, like these, like the average nigga's working like 55, hours, 55 to 60 hours a week. That's just the normal. Like, and even when you're like, that's norm. So like, this ain't where you're going to have like the, the more softy and like whatever. He was talking about the millennial. Oh, we're going to have a, uh, whatever meeting about me, nigga. Well, somebody that's gonna somebody gonna have to lift that concrete. It's usually younger people, you know, older people ain't. Doing Shit, it. me. It's more older people doing that, bro. <laughs> it ain't for real. Yeah, it's more older people. It's older people doing that shit. A lot um, of Hispanics and it's a lot of older people that's doing that. Shit. Yeah, I, I guess if I was to hop in real cool, I, I I would say that it's probably a necessary evil. Um, yeah, it just is what it is. What is? Um. People like the like softness in like the workforce in general mm -hmm. because of like if we're saying that the means of productions and the tools that are allowed within it are making the work easier, then naturally what's going to come with that is higher productivity and then more like if you just go in the hierarchy of needs, more thought of like self actualization. Yeah, I mean, and then something too. I will be honest with. I remember when I used to work at Carowinds when I was, well, we started working at Carowinds, we was like, what, 16? Yeah, 15, been, 16. I was 18, you would've been 17. Okay, so 17. Um, and I was sitting, bro, and I don't I don't know, for, from my recollection, I definitely did it like, I didn't want to bust ass, but I was like doing the, but I've always been above bare minimum guy. Even regardless of what I was doing, honestly, especially as an adult, I want to be the best at whatever I'm doing. Like literally like, where, if I'm going to work, I'm trying to murder these niggas. And that's just my, outlook and i'm not saying that just the average person it's thinks that way company man but like no it's not a company man it's just i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do my i'm just gonna do really good at whatever it is because i want to once i learn it and then this is another thing though so i do get burnt out once i've mastered the thing and i'm doing and you know what i mean i've done it long enough i'll probably just change jobs i'm not a nigga that like no life or own no job you know what i mean mm -hmm. I'm, i stick with the i'm more of the two to three year you know what i mean and then it's time to shake things up because once i've figured it out like i ain't it's not. It's not going fulfill. Um, it's not fulfilling anymore. Y'all niggas was stealing the Carowinds. Yeah, hitting them niggas hitting over them there, everybody. bro. Every, everybody, bro. This is was, me and my manager, bro. We was getting off, bro. All right, we ain't got. Um, good. I actually, yeah, got, I ain't trying to incriminate myself. Yeah, I actually got a meme. Limitations up though. Yeah. But. I got a meme that's that kind of goes into this conversation, but um, I'm I'm gonna play it first, and then I want to pose a question. It's still within kind of the same conversation. So yesterday, right, I watched the Fred and Hampton movie, Judas. I know I'm late, but y'all ain't tired yet. We was on the right path. They just keep rerouting us every time. We seem like we gonna get it right. I say all that to say, bro, the man was 21 when he passed. The impact he did and was having, they was feeding 3,000 school kids for breakfast. 3,000 at 21, 19, 20, 20. Our 21 year olds is on perks, not making no impact. We got young boys and stuff. 21 year olds looking up to people like sexy red y'all ain't tired one of the main problems is we steady depending on somebody that oppressed us and tore us down to save us and build us up only we can do that in school they told us where we came from and our history started with slavery when it really started with gods and goddesses real kings and queens see how they just came out with we already knew but the real images of jesus jesus was a black man oh, yeah i don't want to go too much into everything yeah. that he's i want to stick got, to the beginning name, of the conversation oh so it wasn't fake um no it was fake okay i, I was about to say i thought yeah, I was, we that, already that, went through that that ain't even with the conversation that's I really why he turned get it off yeah. um i really wanted to talk about what he was saying at the beginning as far as like like even our generation mm -hmm. we're totally different at 20 we were totally different at 21 than those got like fred hampton and all and i that's something i realized a while back like what changed in us that killed off the you think like, most most 21 year olds in uh 1960 was fred hampton I don't. I'm not saying that, but I think they was further along. Even even the evidence, even even, the evidence, even, even from the Hampton. evidence, not even just talking about Fred Hampton's time. We can look back at the '90s, like just like how my parents was, bro. At 21, my mom's generation, like they was a whole different. They, they was a little bit further, it seemed like than than I was at 21. I think it was like levels of maturity, I, and that's that, what I'm saying. That, there, that, was a, that, there was their a environment required that they actually mature a little faster. Like, and Man, then you got to think about they were having children. A lot of them were having children. Them, much like, all my aunts, they had kids by 21, so they, and that's they, what I'm they, saying. It was just a they matured faster. That's what I'm saying. So no, but you would have been forced to mature faster. If but you would had you? Kids I would younger. prefer a kid being like a, a kid, at like, like not having kids and like still going through the, the stages of maturation. Oh, yeah. Then having a 21 year old and having to grow up really quickly. 
in my yeah. opinion, if we're comparing but, 90s to now. Okay, so what I'm what, I, still the point I'm making though is that like drastically over to, over periods of time, what it seems like happens is let's say by the age, I ain't gonna even just use 21. By the age of 25, there's mm -hmm. less accomplished as the generations go on. That's what it seems like to me. Like even like I, I get what you're saying with the children, but even with children, people been having children for years, most like even though I'm I don't I don't necessarily agree with a whole bunch of stuff, but the mentalities was different in the past than it is up today. And I think we we coddle a lot of different situations where it's like, are we sitting there and think it's better, but it's really holding us back. It's crazy. I think that like the it's idea, the we, we believe that our mm -hmm. lives are supposed to be different than they believe their uh, their lives would be. Mm -hmm. Like our lives, like we we're, we're th we believe that the average person believes that like, they're supposed to see all of these different things. Like it's just, I think that we what have that a thing, higher right? expectation of what life should be than what their they, they had their ceiling was a lot lower than ours. I'll also We've say, advanced do, do a we, lot in the many take, different areas. Do we ex, are we extending our youth? Is more so a better question I would say that, to ask. We are we extending to. our youth past the time that we really should be like? Because that's a great question. You know, I think we had a similar conversation to that recently. I definitely believe that niggas is like holding on to like trying to be young for too long. I think that like we there needs to be like a, a we have to have an understanding. Is that worse than growing up too fast though? But hold on, hold on. Let me just say this. we. I believe we need an understanding that once you get to this age, your motherfucking ass should no longer be acting like a child. Yeah. It's like you should no longer be doing certain shit. You should be you should be thinking to plan the cookout for the family. You should be thinking to bring stuff. Then, you should be thinking to do these things th like. We we not we still not doing it. Some of us still not doing it. Even in our thirties, we still sitting there expecting for the, the adult, the, who we, the older adults. That's like yeah. family the reunions. Same thing they doing. Think about it, like family reunions. Do you notice that like, especially when we get to my gener our generation, them shit will not exist anymore. They don't happen. That shit will not exist anymore. It's hard enough to get the, the the elders above us. You know what I mean? The ones just right above us. Our parents. Our parents aren't really trying to do that shit. It's a lot of. It's a lot of responsibility at, with the going along with what you already have to do. Now you got to be thinking about what everybody is going to be doing. I think that by our generation, we will not have family reunions. But I think that's an intentional thing about how they like divided the black community, especially like the generations. Cause if you look at like Hispanic communities, they'll have one house and there'll be three, four generations living within one house. That's a tighter knit community. It'd be a lot easier for them to go back and have cookouts and stuff because they're all interconnected. They're not black people. We're separated. We get 18, you get out the house and you no, go I think make it on your own and you got to try to learn how to survive and, and build your life out once you, you know, once you leave the house. Another thing about with the, 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 the Fred Hampton thing, I think there's a reason why that they paint the Black Panther Party the way they do and they make it they don't glorify that, so we don't know to go back and look for it and look up to Fred Hampton. They'll, they 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 make movies like you know Paid in Full and Minutes to Society, and they paint our they culture. Hello, that are, we, are we we are we hold on? Were you going to try to were you just about to blame white people? Is that what you were saying? No, I, I mean I, I, I was. Yeah, you. I wasn't. Going you use the word they. That's what you use. About I'm just trying to see if we if, um, if you got that to go and blame white people. Well, no, I'm I'm not saying I'm not saying it's their fault because we're the ones but ultimately it's it, the okay it, it, a lot the accountability lies on us i'm just saying the reason not making the excuse i'm just speaking the facts of you know the situation we're in it is a fact like it ain't like an excuse but you have to know what the situation is to know the game plan and know how to escape it but if you don't even know that you're in the trick bag you're never gonna get out so i think that's something to be intentional about okay um so tones your, your original question was uh are we growing up too slow? How, how did you frame it? Um, dang, I didn't. I didn't ask the question a few different times, a few different a few ways. Different questions. But more so, um, are are basically are, are is are, are we coddling the generations to be to to hold on to you? To hold on to you. Like, or, or matter of fact, um, I said, are we holding on to our you too, too long? long. That you was, that too was long. Okay. okay. That. So That's I guess it, there, there's like uh two two things that I want to kind of like think through or talk through, and we can speak through in this um. So one, in my opinion, when I look at like our current generation and the fact that we are having kids later. And current the fact generation, that, just to make sure you're talking about us, we, us in our age range, like the thirties. Yeah. Okay. And I think that like, you the stats say that, sure. yes, like I'm just like, I said, our current generation. Okay. Um, and this will bleed itself on to like, like all the younger generations if, if as statistics kind of like project, um, I think that they're probably doing adulthood way better than 
all the previous generations did. But that's like just due to the fact of excess of um, information, understanding, education, et cetera, et cetera, where right now it doesn't even make sense for a millennial to have a kid at 22, 23, 24, 25. Well, I think um, you, you said that they're doing a better job. I at, think that we are doing a better job ha because we're having kids yeah. later. Oh. We're getting married later. Um, like we're, we're pushing back some of the things until we actually get our life in order to where now it allows for more, like a, a higher influx of more stable structures for kids to grow up in. In comparison, like if we're saying in the nineties, like, all my, I don't have an aunt that, well, my aunt Kim, but outside of that, I got four, four other aunts that all had kids under 21 mm -hmm. and which their life drastically is different. Right. And the kids had to, like, we all, like, we talked about this earlier where like the fact that we're in the space that we're at and like, we're raising our kids differently. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of that comes from a lot of these, these, as, these, these aspects. And what we seen also was a product of those things. And so what I, I then ask also is what does it mean to be like grown at, like, let's put the median age at 35. Mm -hmm. Like what does that actually look like outside of like saying kids? I actually think Unc just gave a great example of okay. what I'm talking about here more so. And what he said was when I- I still want y'all to answer this question yeah. too. Unc said, when I was 21 years old, I had my own place and I would throw cookouts and get my nieces and nephews on the weekends and mm -hmm. have fun with my friends. More so the question I'm asking is not about people having kids, but if somebody has kids at 21 or they have nieces and nephews at 21 now, those 21 year olds are not throwing cookouts unless they got a great ass job. They can't afford to throw the cookout for their so nieces and nephews. So you're answering your own question right there. What that's what I'm still asking. I'm but still, I also don't think like, what was I, what, I'm, what, yeah, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not right, answering so my if, question. If I'm they more can't so, afford to throw a cookout. And ha, ha, like if they well, I mean, if the if average twenty one year old is probably rooming with rooming with what the I'm saying is they're they're starting later though. What is yeah, like what he's saying is like later. I'm saying it like why is that? They're, 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 they 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 started adulting early, and it was I mean I don't know if he had kids or not. He didn't know no, he, uh, had no, he, he didn't. But because like was I think life was way then. different, and then uh, like he has a different story where okay. like uh, my grandparents passed oh, when he was fairly young. And he had to, like, he didn't have to, but he ended up moving down to Charlotte from New Jersey. Uh -huh. um, in which, like, there's a space where when your parents pass, when you're young enough, you are, like, out on your own to an extent. Like, of mm. course, he had, like, his sisters and different things like that. We had but he had to figure it up. out. He had to grow up really quickly. Right. Like, that circumstance in itself is, like, way, way different. But, like, shit, Roger, like, him and Roger's only, like, seven, eight years in difference. Roger didn't have shit figured out at 21. So I'd be, like, fi like pretending inside that mode as well. Like, I think people's circumstances push them to grow up quicker. So right now, think that, I think most middle class kids di is not going to have that story at all. Right. Fair. No, I'd agree. Well, what, what do you think that? And and, and we're just peeling the onion back yeah. a little bit more. Do you think that? And I think, but they, I heard Jordan Peterson talk about. Do you think that the ease of life stunts the growth as well? Like the ease of life. So we're what we're doing is we're making life life easier for our children for longer periods of time. Yes. Then we're then we're also stunning their their maturation as well. Maybe, but but then I, that, but that's where I said like, what does? And that's why I asked the question. What is being like? adult at 35 like what what are we looking for the end goal to be hold on uh, don't change the question don't change no. the question and are you answering the question i don't want you to ship it another place I'm, I'm, I'm gonna answer it because i think what happens is the technology the medical advancements and stuff it has extended our lifespan so these motherfuckers awesome. used to die at 40 50. You if you're gonna yeah. die at 40, 50, you better grow up at like 15, 20, so you can like have a long life. If you're living to 70, 80, 90, you're allowed to be in that and mature, that's also like a good thing. That, 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 that mature that's that's piggy, that's that's piggy, 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 piggy with you real quick, just because this is something that I've noticed is that every generation, if we're saying are aggressively developed, then I think that that's a true, true statement. But every generation, because of the longevity of what like shit, what even 50, 60, 70 looks like has changed completely. For sure. Um, Like what my dad is doing at 65, my grandfather was, was not, not. he wasn't interested in none of that shit. Mm -hmm. And like, it's a, it's a big difference, but it's cause the ceiling has been pushed up way further. And like, if you, if you look at health wise, how like a 40, 50 year old looks now in comparison to what a 40, 50 year old looked look like when we was thing. younger, like 
I think all of those things have a, a big a bigger impact. And of course, like that goes with the ease of life. But then the answer is like, what does like what are we looking for? Are we looking just to say being grown an adult is the struggle? Or are we saying like what what are the tangibles of what that means? I'm not saying being grown an adult is the struggle. I think I think like so okay, what is so like one of, being one of the things I admire. Look like? Let, let's just say like I mean and I'm not even talking about 35 because I feel 50, like 35 you, you kind of do got it more like I don't think 35 looks too different than it did some years ago. What I'm saying is that like True. like at 25 stuff like that that looks drastically different. Like and and, at and 25, it's probably for a good reason. I, but there was some things even even just speaking on myself at 25 there were some things that I watched my uncles that they were able to do when they were 25 that I could not do. Like from say for my nieces and nephews and stuff like that. There were things they could do for us that we I, I it was no way possible I could do it because the circumstances was totally different. I would have loved to be able to do that stuff. At 25. I, like you have to unpack that more for me to understand. What are you saying? saying? Are you because saying that like there's 25 year olds that are post like like that that are making decent enough money and they can can do things and like like if we're talking about like on the financial space of things, I think that. At 25 now, especially within like the demographic that we're within, and I think truthfully, like if we go inside like a lower income working class group, they probably are dealing with most of the same shit that like like the past has already always dealt with. But like we're inside a middle class work uh, middle class perspective, and I don't think that um, like the 25 year old working I mean middle class kid is going to have to deal with like. In the past, you had to like make sure that your your aunts, not your aunt, your, your 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 nieces, and all those was good. Maybe you had to like make sure that they came over and you like different little things and shit like that. I don't think that that's like a, a thing that they, too, they have like, to do. I think too that like we also, also we also were getting jobs earlier. Back in the day, like if you keep going back, like now we're at a point where we we've gotten ourselves to a point where we we're not in shit, we're not saying that we want our kids to work. We're saying that no focus on school. Cause I got this. I can I can afford to take care of you and get you what you need and what you want. What what I think you should have and all of these things. We're we're also pushing getting a job down the line too. So it's like before they were getting jobs very young. You know what I mean? Because that it was it was help that it was needed. needed help. It was needed help. But then I think that also made them mature. And then like the things like what what do you what do you what is your value for money? Hell, the earlier you work, the better. The the sooner you'll understand the value of money. The sooner you understand what, where, you know what I mean, what it's like to spend your own money. That's different spending your own money versus spending your parents' money. So I think that there's a, there's a, there's a, I think that like, that's a great question you pose. I think that there's something that, and, and then also the question you pose to go back, you said that what does, what does it look like or what does it mean? Cause I don't think anybody answered that question. What was it? Say, say it one time. Um, I think the, the, the gist of, or the gist of the, the question is, if we're saying that like the younger generations are quote unquote aggressively developed, what are we looking for thirty five to to be or it or twenty like whatever whatever to be that isn't indicative of struggle, <laughs> and like just them repeating something that we had to have done. Well, I mean, um, and then also I think that what we're trying to do is we keep on. If you notice, we keep kicking the can further down the road when they be like, oh well. You you ain't got this done at thirty, then you just you don't need to put a time frame on anything. You just have the most time. That could be that could be a way that you know that could benefit your mental health if you say that you know what I mean I didn't accomplish these things by this specific time. You can be easier on yourself. Is what I believe that that I, I means. Still was getting but but I, you didn't answer the question at all. Oh, my bad. And the question is, <laughs> he said, what are the things that so, what yeah, should it look you, like? You started talking about kicking the can down the road, but. Like, what are things, whether we're saying 25 or 30, because like we be saying like vague words, but we don't never define it. It's okay. easy to say that like so kids are tangible like, things. Yeah, yeah like what, we looking for them to have like a house and kids by 25. I wasn't no, even no, going 30. That route. Or, I was, what, it was more so about because we all know, like, like if we build this entire back to like the stats we just looked at, homeboy talking about like, you know, pretty much the predicament of the current working class in comparison to like 1980. 1970, 1960, right. if we put all these things in, in context, like what are we looking for them to specifically have? So so if we're talking about, you said 35 or 30. Well, I changed it to 25 because Tone to said 25. No, he said 35. I, I do want to clarify similar. something though. This conversation I, wasn't supposed to be so much about money and finances and all of that. Mm. The conversation started I'm, off that's from why the I'm premise. Asking what are we, t like, so, I, that's why so I'm the, only the asking premise, I, the, 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 I was I was talking from the premise of mentality. The mentality for for 19, 20, 21 year olds to decide to start a program 
where they're feeding mass amounts of kids. Ain't no 19 year olds doing that today. Well, I mean, Wasn't no, no 19 year olds doing that when I, we were 19. I, I literally can pull up, like, as, and this, I had the same question with Johnny. I said, do you think Fred Hampton was the norm or mm-hmm. he was like, like a, a very specific case? And I think well, that he was special. That's why we remember. But do you, but, he also, and, and, but so, I also know of like 19, 20 year olds that have charter schools that have, uh, that, that have gotten the, uh, the money to get buses and are busing kids in Atlanta. So, like, so, so even, like there's not 19, 20 year olds that are doing so even what you're very saying, similar things. Okay. Even what you're saying, he still had the support of a whole mass of people. The, like the, the there, thing was, is, there was still a mass so, amount of people that was with that mentality. The so thing there is, was, is that, bro, that, bro, what we also have to understand is that like that there, there is damn near no community. So the the lack of lack of caring for your brother is that's gonna you you're gonna see less of that as time continues. Tether. We're gonna see less of that. I don't give a fuck what title or none of that shit. Mike they, TV, get them jokes or whatever. <laughs> Mike TV, whatever the fuck. I, my honest opinion is, my honest opinion is, is that we don't give a fuck a, about each other. So that you're gonna see less and less of this happening. So like you're you're gonna see less and less. Of this. I don't not, think it was a lot of it happening. In but wait, either way, either way, it's gonna be less because that there's. I can sit here and we can ask like, when was the last time you done for somebody outside that outside of your family? Niggas is not doing shit for nobody. Niggas is not doing shit for nobody. I can say to Johnny, when was the last time you did something for somebody that was outside of your family? I volunteered at work to uh, take food to, you know, this, what's what's it called? Um, um, uh, Sick and shut in through through our charity. I've done that like a year ago. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said you volunteered it, but did it, did you, were you getting out of being at work? It was during work hours where you was able to go and do something that you didn't actually fund or anything. You were just going and doing something, right? I took, uh, yeah, exactly. I, well, took, I took time where I could have been making was you money. At, was it during your work? To go and oh, okay, feel okay. like, like I could have stayed and took ups and sold cars and made money, but I decided to go. So I'm asking you, why did that. you do it? Because it's, it was, I, I, I like the charity. I worked with it when I was in Columbia in college. And so I like doing, you know, it's just a good feeling. You know, I wanted That's to go cold. and do, yeah, I just wanted to. That's cold. So, <laughs> so uh, you said that was when? Uh, last it was probably December, January of 2023. So about a, a little over a year ago. God damn, nigga. I just asked when the last time you did for something. something when the last you time went you a did whole something. fucking year ago. That was some charity. When did you go? When's the last time Bro, you did Bro, I, I literally give in my community all the time. And it'd it be, it be people just asking. It's people just asking, but like, yeah, you talking about like, just, like paying? Are you talking about giving somebody just, like a couple somebody dollars? Somebody, yeah, just whatever. Yeah. When the last time you did I, I mean, shit, I let somebody I don't believe in doing that. So you don't you said you don't believe in no, giving people giving panhandlers money. So when the last time when the last time you did something for somebody outside of your family, outside of like, you know what I mean? What I'm saying is somebody that didn't do anything, didn't you didn't have a relationship tied to that you just did something to somebody that was in the community just to help somebody. Um like I don't know how loosely we want to tie this. Like I can like it's always really easy for me Bro, to tie to this coaching. to basketball. Just go to coaching. That's like I, about to, it's easy to tie the basketball. Oh yeah, the coaching job, the coaching job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can like I can easily tie. But I, like, I go right. to gyms all the time with like today. There's a a kid I don't know. I ha- I don't know his parents. Mm-hmm. I don't know like whoever. I, I think I know his coach said he. Uh, we went to school together, but like I will work these kids out for free. Mm-hmm. Just like I don't called. get any benefit from it. Anything like. Would that. you have done it at nineteen? Would I have done it at nineteen? I don't. I'm, like at nineteen, I'm probably worrying about myself and figuring like life out. And like to, to pretend like most people in general weren't doing that, and to pretend like that's probably not the best thing for like a, more stuff like to, to imagine like right now we're saying at nineteen <laughs> your big thing is that like what the fuck are you deciding to college and all this shit for and your major and what you think life is gonna be in a few like how many nineteen year olds are without guidance and confused just in general whether you have guidance or not. To think and to think that at 19 we should be pushing a 19 year old, you need to get a, like compare them to Fred Hampton and get a whole oh, yeah. fucking. Like, that's not what they I don't mean, make I'm any not, sense. They don't make no, any no, no, sense. Exactly. I mean, you actually just answered the question in the way that I was trying. The answer I was trying to get though, I wanted to understand why the mentality has changed, and that's more so the question. And what did it you, wasn't what no was right or wrong answer, answer about it. What was the answer um, that you basically got? because we don't have time to think that way? Is what I got out mm-hmm. of that from him. Like our mentality, like we have a whole different set of but things do you that think, we're thinking but about. What I'm saying is that do you think majority like i think he's a a 0.01 percent guy bro I think, and i think that like think black panthers had, in itself was true. like his own specific thing and of course like it was a bunch of and it, this is also the crazy thing in any hood that you go to right now to this day all the way down to like my people shit, there was a neighborhood organization they had things put together like hoods 
do have a different yeah. level of sense of community. Well, I mean, yeah. like to, to this day, when when I when I drive through uh over there by uh like all the hoods that I drive through, mm -hmm. there's still kids outside playing. They they still are there. Like those communities still exist. Like it's a give and True. take to the thing of it. So I'm asking. So so what you're saying is that you don't. And then I, aside from like just building off of the things you've just been saying, okay. you believe that the sense of community is the same as it's always been. I think we're at a different space to see it. And so like the the birth like Fred Hampton's uh, philanthropy still exists. Mm -hmm. I like I think that those those things still happen. That's why the Boys and Girls Club. So and your all answer to the there. question is. But uh, but like if we're saying community as we look at it right like all right johnny maybe maybe you can give a better answer i have a a a like a short-sighted version of community because i grew up in one of those neighborhoods right i like i'm not inside like i'm not inside like that tier of living at the moment mm. so like i'm inside a middle class like neighborhood where like johnny can give a better example of like what that used to look like because I don't know what middle class like community look like in the past. Like we got, we have like the uh like the neighborhood association here and shit like that, and we'll get together and we'll have like the little little meetings. But in general, like I I don't know because I didn't live in it. I I understand yeah, what, no, that's what I was asking, but we can move forward. You said, do I think community is more or less? Johnny can tell you because he. he I wasn't talking about at. from a middle class standpoint. Um, future unpacked. Yeah, but but I, I, I think I, it's I, I always used to go, I used to go to community. Who's um, in the future, hood, future so, unpacked. Right? I think. I think. I still because I, I think Possibly we can go further on this good. conversation. Um, with, with a little that. research on the back end. Appreciate that question, Tone. That was a good one. Let's just say possible future um, oh, impact because I think it'll go further if, if we able to research a little bit more because I ain't, yeah. it, it ain't just Fred Hampton that was doing stuff. It, like if you look at the age of a lot of these people, they had they accomplished so much more by 19 than we accomplishing by 35. Right. But they, they're also the exceptions. Like I like you, we can easily pull 21, 22, 23. What's her name? Greta Stein, whatever the fuck that woman, is. that that fucking 18 year old, I guess, then changed the world through global climate. Right, like that's a one of one. Though. Let's let's do some research and find out about that from our personal families. Like we like literally ask your mom like what they was doing by twenty five or twenty, babies. and even they were still further. <laughs> I think I think there was certain having things babies, that was further dropping along. out of college. No, the one thing too is I can't, I, I really want to know like what what is this? Are we actually doing better than the generation? Yeah, because I might it might just got. I just really want to know because like I do know a lot of dudes that's like forty five and fifty that still ain't got nowhere to stay. They're still living with women. I know that mm -hmm. that's still existing. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's so it's like of them 90s. at the end of the day, like I think that we, we don't put that on my generation. That was a freak Nick boy. All of these things still exist. And I wonder them like how grew up too fast. And especially, bro, I really I really want to see when we become when we actually get to the point where we can say, like, what are the what are our children? The people that's like a lot of us for whatever, it's crazy because like a lot of us are having kids in our thirties. Like that in, in our parents' generation, like they were done. A lot of them were done. Yeah, Having man, kids at 30, they done had three, four tubes been tied, goddamn. Yeah, cutting it, cutting it, and cutting we just both. started. You know what I mean? A lot yeah, of us are just having our first, like my, my cousin Tia, they just had a daughter. Uh Q just had a daughter. Uh Willie just had a, a son. You know what I mean? Like I just I, my my youngest but is we're all having about intentional, intentional kids now. I think like, well, I mean I don't know I think, if everybody's having intentions. Right, we, 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 like we, most most we, we kids are talking about this conversation, but, kids, but, kids, time yeah. but it would be so nice to forward. see. You know what I mean? And, and really have enough. They're gonna facts. grow up in more stable homes. Future unpack. Um, let's re go through the comments. If the generation under you don't think a little bit easier because of the technology that your generation built, you should not give them criticism. That means your generation did its job. Mm -hmm. All right. We were talking um, about that earlier. Yeah, he was. This was from um, the conversation right before this too. That that he had said that. Um, it is too many people who are being coddled by their parents and are just old kids. That's true, too. Um, I read this one already, but when I was 21, I had my own place, and I would throw cookouts and get my nieces and nephews on the weekends and have fun with my friends. Shout out, um. Um, Joe Skip, and I actually want to research what he says here. None of them, uh, um, the Club of Rome race development programs have been taking place, and I actually want to research a little bit more yeah, what, he, what he means by that. Um, Because, I mean, like, I've been, I've been looking at a lot of stuff, so... I just finished studying um, like Roman Catholicism this week, going into the Protestant Reformation. So that kind of goes along with that. Like Rome is still in control of a lot, or a lot of the stuff that's going on today is still reflective of Rome. Um, well, there's a reason you can't go in the Vatican. Mm -hmm. Them white boys got mind control. White boy. White damn it, 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 it
Yeah, there wasn't no separation of church and state. Then, and then. It's, a, it's a reason that, that we have some of these laws into place now, but it comes out of like Protestant Reformation as a result of going like them trying to get oh, away yeah. from Rome. Mm-hmm. So that's that's a whole nother conversation. Though. I wonder what that what that is that he's talking about, though. But go ahead. And I'm going to look into that. Um, you can take this even with hip hop. A lot of the rappers were young, but the raps were political and uplifting. Mm-hmm. The mentality is different because of parents coddling adult children. Yeah, that was but another, then we, another but, statement. But then we also like crazy. have had almost everybody on here say that they're not kicking the kid out at uh, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, your ass definitely gonna have a job well before that though. I'm I'm an advocate for jobs. I believe I in that, jobs, but, <laughs> but you ain't gotta get the fuck out. You ain't gotta nah. you ain't gotta get the fuck out unless you think you're gonna be grown in my house. Then you gotta get the fuck out. I think, I think what we, we all had, understand. You will kick the kid. I, yeah, I will say not, though, what I if we had three houses? houses? I will say I think we also have an understanding that eventually you your kid rent. your kid might be taking care of you someday. But how about they don't pay? So you much? should be setting your child up to be able to do that. <laughs> mm. I believe and my thing is, bro. I think you'll be a cold is, landlord. Yeah. Man, um, I want to. I, I like to see you do it. That, that, that'd be the best kick way. my kid out. I think because all that shit sounds really. I've been good kicked out too many either. times. Not the, not the. And, and, uh, like, and, I, and, and I, I know that you have my thing. Is, and my thing. Is, my thing is, I is actually talking, agree not, with the the when the reasons that I was kicked out. I agree with yeah, them every he, time he, at this he, point, bro. I, I, like I said, I, I love to see it because a lot of those things. It's gonna be like, rough for my daughter, but my son. It sounds good, but I think that that's definitely a sound. My daughter, she probably gonna get a lot more leniency, but my son, bro, you gonna kick him out. Hey, if you if for for all certain right. shit, you, you think bro, I stole my that? mom's car and all this shit. Yes, you getting the fuck out. You steal my car, you getting the fuck out. Bro, I deserve to be kicked out for that. Real, and if he steal my shit, you gonna pull the J Cole. Okay, bro. Yeah, yeah. you gonna be on it. You gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be we gonna, gonna move the conversation hey. forward. This this one a real funny one, real quick, night. and we can move on to the back. next person. So y'all give me y'all comments on this. This is funny. You ain't been answering my calls. I got that new Apple Vision Pro on the way for you. <laughs> Express shipping. But you got to bring on out them whips and chains. I'm trying to take you down. Oh, I want to lick on my sugar, baby. I want a piece of that meat. I'm a freaky lady. Go down on me, baby. Yeah, I'm pretty tasty. Yeah, he's 28, Shane. He don't eat no pussy. But wait till Mabel get him. He gonna make it do it. Hey, you ain't hey. been answering. <laughs> she sound like an old, like 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 the older generation 60. Hey, that's 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 that. that New that, 60 ain't bad. That's that mm-hmm. Thundercat right there. She gonna put that's the Thundercat right on there. his ass. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 80 right there. Like New 60. That's it's Jada Pinkett. That's a she said, bring on out them whips and chains. No, that's the that, Jada Pinkett is the is the, the great example that we want to use, but most of them are not that. Most of them are not that. They look better than the, than the old sixty. <laughs> most of them, hey, most of them got a little extra, a lot of extra everywhere. Sixty, yeah, you've been comfortable for a bit of eating them, guys. But is y'all getting that Apple Vision Pro though? No. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the price drop. I ain't paying three bands for it. When they I think you talking about net scenario, Johnny. Oh, oh no, you talking no, about nah, the nah, 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 nah. <laughs> She just sound nasty because <laughs> she been smoking cigarettes. I'm going get, to get my Apple Vision Pro, bro. Back in the day, in prime, I was going to get my joke. I'll get my joke. Y'all niggas hate fuck. All right, real, you up. What you got for us? Uh, Let me see. I got that one that's gonna leave Oh, bro, go to either the Charles Barkley. Hey, to me, you remember earlier I was like, before we, we're like season one, season two, even probably more recent, like the pause and all of that shit. That shit seemed like childish game to me. Mm-hmm. And like now, it's check. actually. You and Johnny had tears in your eyes. Hilarious. Johnny had tears in your eyes. That's what I said. Like, the shit's actually funny to fun. me. I didn't like the, like, you know what I mean? I had got real uptight, like, very, very much so, just like uptight. That's the one thing you got to worry about, man. Them young boys, them young boys coming. They are down three games to two in the series back to Los Angeles for game six. Catch him every time too. Shaq be the way. <laughs> hey, oh, go man. to the other one. Go to the and, jo- and Joker, instead of going around him, he just banging and banging and banging. When a guy's banging you, you don't you spin off of him. That was the worst defenders to play against, actually. Because if you can feel their body, uh, 
Come on. Eight, <laughs> 18 <laughs> points for Joker. <laughs> only nugget in double figures. Yeah, everybody. 69, 89. <laughs> Golden <laughs> State shooting 60. <laughs> and, jo and Joker, instead of going around him, he just bang it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Hey, I always think basketball conversation be sounding oh, like that, dude. Shit. Yeah, I remember when you first came home. I, I was, say it every time. Like, listen to me I'm playing talking 2K. about. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me see. What we gonna go? Oh, let me see what's up there now. I know where I'm gonna end mine at. Uh, did I have anything? Okay, yeah, go to bro right there. The white dude at the top. That Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone yeah. You said a home is a terrible investment. Isn't that kind of ironic? It is a terrible investment. There's <laughs> so nothing good about it. Doesn't cash flow. You don't get big tax write-offs because of it. You have no leverage. You're living in it. You're paying for it. Even when the loan's paid, you don't own it. You still got to pay property taxes. Still got to insure. Still got to maintain it. People get emotional about their house. This is my house. Mm. It ain't your house. You're a partner in this house with the state. So yeah. your recommendation to a normal family would be to rent? Never buy a house, man. Rent. No, I'm no, not no, saying no. don't own real estate. I'm saying take all the money that you would have spent on that so how many okay. times hey hold on. this is this is the funny thing so like when i was uh doing my research right i don't know what i think during covid or maybe right on the back end of covid like this a lot of people started talking that shit. like it was a big push of like people were talking about home ownership and everything during covid financial literacy and then like on the back end of the financial literacy you started hearing rich people talk about financial literacy and their whole shit was like never buy a home never buy a home and uh, I had somebody um, question because I was trying to I was telling them like home ownership is like that's one of the things that you you want to do that because like that'll be the 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 way in which you'll get the most uh, like the equity you you'll have pretty much the idea is what I said is like a lot of white people put their kids through college through home equity uh, and so and he came to me and he was talking about yeah but I was hearing them tell you that like you shouldn't buy a house because it's you know, listen, he started talking like this. And I'm like, bro, when they start talking like that, they talking from their situation. They ain't talking from you trying to start something, build, you know what I mean, something for your family. They talking about a level of, 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 of Yeah, most of the money probably in a, in, a, in a market or something like that. Yeah, they, they yeah, definitely yeah. done. It's like completely different than what you're trying to do right now. Yeah, and, and to me, like, like I said, I think that that's some of the stupidest advice. Only if we just base off of, Working class and like lower middle class in the word equity, mm -hmm. and where if you're renting, you don't build equity. If you're a homeowner, at least your money's going to something that you can eventually get back if you sell. Right, like simple That's as simple. that. Like to me, I think that if you just might drop right there, that would be a reason to get a house. Right, like say that. Damn, I had a house for ten years. I lost my job. I can't keep it. If I'm, if I was renting, I would just be out of my ass. Right. If I have a house, I can sell it and get a lump sum of money to which I could at least figure some things out. Right. Start over again like, from like a equity much is place. the thing. And if For you sure. let them tell you not to get equity, then they probably are trying to like they're telling you that for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Why and they buying that they, shit? Yeah, <laughs> they're they, telling they, you they, not to buy a house, so they they just buying all little land and shit. So that yeah. they, yeah. But I thought that's like, bro, I've heard that advice. Have you been hearing that? You've heard nigga. Them um, I've heard say like that one shit. or two people say that. Well, yeah, yeah I, I've heard it as a a popular. I've mainly heard it from Grant Cardone. That's ironically the thing. Okay. I've oh heard yeah, I don't Grant know Cardone man. names like that. But yeah, bro, I've, I've heard it from him. Uh, you said you don't fuck dude. with niggas named Grant Cardone? No, I was just saying, I don't um, be caring what they name. What's that guy, Gary? Gary are, might have said Gary it too. V. Yeah, Gary V might have said it too. Yeah, it's, it's actually he been a couple He looked like a coked up uh, older white man. It's been yeah. a good few of them. Uh, I, I, I do that think there are certain plants that come out. Like, I think Grant Cardone is one of them plants to some degree. You like you had plant? These, like plants that, that that's to, like like yeah they to trick people into doing stuff that's mm. gonna end up ruining your money but you trust their opinion because like like ironically enough I seen this in an anime I was watching um this anime Doctor Stone and there was this one rich guy who was like I don't want to explain the story but there was this one rich kid basically who who grew up like being able to buy everything he want and stuff like that um and it can't like pretty much he was talking about how to trick people into wanting stuff. Mm. is what it can i think that's a lot of what goes on with like like he was saying that he could he could affect the stock market just by getting involved in stocks like his parents cut him off he got involved in stocks and just because of his name he was driving stocks mm. up or that's, down that's called elon musk yeah, for sure i think it's the same thing that goes on with a lot of different industries and grant cardone is one of them people i think well that's why the news is owned by like a handful of corporations so they have power over the messaging
Oh, for sure. And so if they can talk about certain stuff and make certain stocks go up, and it's not, you know, it's easily controllable. Yeah. And then, all right, so my last one, um, go down. We're talking about down here? That's the yeah, 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 go run that one right there. And this kind of goes into uh, Johnny's topic. Uh, if we want to just jump only 24 percent of black millennials believe in marriage i know it 24 yeah. percent yep uh don't even look at it as uh a reality or a possibility yep. uh amazingly uh that they are now giving discounts for weddings in vegas what yes they try to get people to get they married. To, listen, we're going to give you the room for free. We're going to give you the full <laughs> Everest Presley Chapel. Only 24% of black millennials. And, so, and, and my thing is, is that with the, I don't know where the statistic is wrong. You know what I mean? I don't know. I didn't look it up. I just kind of was scrolling through it and I was like, oh, this is interesting. Uh, and I guess that kind of, I don't know if you want to jump right into your. Yeah, no, nah, I'll, yeah, because I'm you probably. 50. What you was saying about 50? Huh? Dropping, give me 50. Oh, the board is ending 50. I ain't know. Oh, oh, yeah. That, okay, bro, I ain't know where you was going. I ain't know. <laughs> I, ain't know. <laughs> I ain't know where you was going with that one, boy. It's the early call. Uh, <laughs> but, but nah, like, like, if you look at, like, marriage statistics, depending on, you know, where you're getting your, your sourcing from, but, like, the it's about roughly 50% of marriages, you know, end in divorce. If you look at second marriages, their their fail rate is up to like you know 70 80 percent for like a lot of a lot of mm. second marriages so my question is why are young people pressured to get into marriage when most of them end up you know in failure or why do people look at people who aren't married as like failures when most people who do get married statistically it doesn't end up working out mm. and I do, just, you, do you think that that's like the current climate like according to the meme According to like everything Red Pill says, it sounds like there's more of a push for niggas not to get married. But that's, that's a, I mean, I, it, that's, that's a, a new, new thing, thing. But traditionally, traditionally, you know, the push is like. So you, are we talking if, if about you, like because you you put it in today's time? Well, I'm so thinking about like older generations, your family, your parents, stuff like that. There's always a push for you to get married in that space. Oh, you feeling the heat? Well, I think I think I think that like uh, I think it's two different things well, because if you got a girl around you after a certain age, they think you're gay. Well, that's I would true say, too. That I, is that. That's definitely. I would, true. I would, I would that's say depressing. also that, like, of course, we already know that, like, we as 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 fathers, you want your daughters to be married. Well, niggas don't. Want and women want their that. women. Women want their women want their sons to be married. Like, I mean, women want their daughters to be married as well. But like on the on the father side, like your father ain't really pushing for you to get married like that. You know what I mean? As a boy, as a male, you know what I mean? It's not really so much pushing. I think that's the same thing that's happening now. Women are there, they're still wanting to be married. And now the collect of men are saying like, no, their marriage shit is off. The so so, so, so you don't think there is a collective push for people to get married in, in today's age? Cause there was definitely a push in 10, 15 it was years the, No, It was more of like the, okay, you said the push. But you think that's going away. So maybe I'm just like in my head about like this pressure to you know get married yeah you know the crazy thing is i think that the pressure's always been like women have been given the pressure for marriage hmm. they've they've been receiving the pressure to get married mostly as well like i don't know i don't remember a time where like there was real no, pressure for men to get married uh the not since to be to get some like for, well, it, well, right, but i say for women like men women like are like the prize in marriage guys are the one that's actually like asking somebody to marry us like so i think that's why it's a pressure on the guy because you got to actually find somebody you want to ask to marry you know women if you just long long somebody's gonna ask to marry no nah, that ain't true uh, you got them reaching now Nimbus. you reach it now I ain't going well i think that like when you get past the <laughs> age range yeah, men women... start getting pressure for sure um, like I, think when you, I think once you like probably like mid 30s and up Nick, yeah, you said like, men start getting pressured by who like like society. general society <laughs> like to it's pretend like that doesn't exist it's like, pressuring to get married at like, like 30s. Yes, yeah. I, I think that Absolutely. being single. Well, I mean, I don't know y'all not been married forever. So, like, I don't, that's what that, I'm asking. Like, I'm asking a question. I'm, I'm trying to answer it. You, <laughs> you keep, I'm, like, I'm talking to Johnny. He, he's like, <laughs> of course, like looking at me crazy and shit. Well, that's like he, he's living the life. Too. Right. I get but it. But like, oh, like T. Free, Keith, him, like they all feel the pressure. Oh, okay. Like I, me talking to like T. Free was just a Dreamville with us. Keith was, uh, you know, what I mean. And like we had like a piece of a conversation that uh that revolved itself around that in which um I think that in general, thank you, Johnny. 
Uh, I think in, in general, uh, there is pressure when you get to a certain age. I think women get pressure way younger because mm. of like getting married and your reproductive organs and all that shit like oh, that, having okay, kids, yeah. that, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. The shot clock. Yeah, the shot clock. But yeah, I, I think that there is still a way that society looks at men that are like over 40 that are just outside just being like dropping off stuff. Yeah. Dropping shit off. <laughs> so, so like, what I, do you I, think I it is? Why do you think I feel like, is? nigga, you trying to be in a club at 40? Like, I'm, I'm going to say the same shit. I, I have, because I have no interest in it. Like, and I be trying to understand niggas. I mean, I be shooting, shooting uh, Johnny uh, hell sometimes. Like, damn, nigga, when you going, when you going to get a girl? When you going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I, I imagine that's some of like the, like the societal pressure and shit like that. When it's like, I know, I know my niggas for like years. And it's like, at some point, do you not ever want to not be a bachelor? Mm -hmm. Do you want to like build something for real, for real? Yeah. So is it, is it, what, what do you think? Why do you think it is like, what is it? Cause you still got a good little bit of life Man, to live at 35. I, I was just sitting there thinking, I know like even at 35, you start, your, your body start changing in your thirties anyway. And then and the pillars of adulthood, like there's a certain range to it. And to like, and that's why I was saying like earlier when you talked about like getting, um, like young, be, being younger, older, however you framed it, mm. I do think that there's a range, but still, even with men, you can you can have kids well into your 40s and 50s. Yeah. But can you really be the father you want to be well into those spaces? Mm. And like, I see that being a thing. Like I had my mm. homeboy Roland that I ran into and he, like, he, he's a party promoter, all that shit. And with him, he had the same exact ideas, like shit. Like I'm, I'm, I'm deep into my thirties. I'm starting to feel like, damn, do I still want to like keep throwing? He making good money off it too, and he got a real job as well. But he like, I be feeling out of place. I be like trying to like think towards like, damn, about time to find a shorty and have some kids and mm -hmm. build a family. And I think that like at a certain age, still niggas are getting to that. Do you think that that has something to do with? Do you think that has something to do with like? Uh... The like, accomplishment. So, like, where do you think that comes from? Like, at 30, what is it about 30, 35? No, I think, I don't even think 30. I think, like, around 35, niggas are starting to, like, yeah, it's not, what do you it think it is about it? Is it, is it the, yeah, what do you tone, think it is? I, I, okay, so what I was about to say was, I think, like, as you're getting older and your body starts going through these changes, you get shut down one good time and you sitting there by yourself. It, you you notice that I think that's one of the triggers for a lot of people. And I, I actually thick. had a friend say that say over this over this past yeah, uh, weekend. You mean like, like sick? Yeah. Oh, like okay, when you okay. down, like you got oh, yeah. in the hospital or some stuff like that. Like you can't operate. Okay. Like you want to have that person. You, like you be wanting I can get to, that too. Go yeah. through a good surgery. Shoot, I had got ankle yeah. reconstructive surgery. I was like, and you can't depend on a girlfriend three. necessarily for that. That's not. That's it's, it's not necessarily no, that, true. Like, you can, that's that's but like, like when, we talk, when we talk about wants and needs, in which like you and Alex was on the side of like companionship is an actual real need to mm -hmm. an extent, um, and it can be framed in a sense of a want. But like eventually, I think everybody needs needs somebody. And need some companionship. And I could just only imagine like how successful or unsuccessful you are. Eventually you gotta get tired of like small little scenarios in which mm -hmm. like it just becomes really sick with the cycle like, each other. Yeah, that shit get old for sure. Yeah. Um we got a couple of comments. Some of these is from the last conversation, so I'm okay. just gonna go ahead and read them anyway. Um two thirds of global citizens live in a country where the fertility rate is less than two point one births per woman. Roughly the level required for populations to remain stable if mortality rates are low. Mm. Um, I'm, I was trying to remember what conversation that had went back to, but I have to look back. Shit, it almost fall right into this conversation. It, it, it almost do, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> this was referring when I said something about a plant. Uh, a plant is an agent for the corporations, institutions, intelligent agencies, private clubs. Mm. Hey, who who is Shout this? Joe Skip. Joe Skip. Know. Oh yeah, Joe Skip. You dropping beans? I, I, yeah. I, we 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 like a a, a commenter that can kind of you know. Throw some shit out there. We mm -hmm. feel it. What um, Unc say? People getting married is something that is a cultural thing. Some cultures do it different. Even today, a lot of young guys and some coaches get married just to have sex. Mm. You ain't gotta do that. Huh? Yeah, I, I think that that's fleeting more than anything. <laughs> don't, now, I, no. Like, um, I, I will say that might be a possible reason for some men, though, because I think um, Only as you get older. Catholic. Not, not even just that. I think as you get older and you start to we realize the importance of trading bodies with people. Oh, my bad. You're my bad. I, I was responding directly to what he was saying. Oh, you're, you're bringing it back to the uh, to the original conversation, mm, where like having stability and who you sleep with. 
Yeah, yes, it, I yeah. agree. I, I think like at a certain point, you Johnny, you ain't tired that. of going to the clinic. Too bro. well though. You can't just be. You can't just be putting <laughs> your. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nigga, that, damn. <laughs> I hope I'm going to the clinic get tested at the end. Hey, hey, I wish they could have got. I wish we could have got Johnny's face. <laughs> we did. It was on him. Yeah, everything. Just that. That. that was just, hilarious. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> that just threw Johnny all the way off. Listen. I pray <laughs> all my niggas have body. All my niggas get a woman that they can have raw sex with. <laughs> I pray for my niggas. Johnny, make sure you wrapping up, bro. Yes. Make sure um, you wrapping up. You, you ain't there yet, bro. You don't yeah. want raw sex shit, bro. You ain't there yet, bro. He said he could do what he want. Nah, don't do it, bro. You can, but there's consequences. It's, yeah, it's crazy it's, out it's here. From what I hear, clinic after everyone. From what I hear, it's just real crazy out here now. You, you can do tell. Uh, they got oh, he tell the doc. You ain't even gotta go in. Tell it. That's it. They, that's how you be getting your well, antibiotics. See, <laughs> you ain't even having to go talk. So to Johnny, I, I was only talking about just doing the courtesy. Clint, he wasn't even talking about. <laughs> we ain't talking about, about like action. Bro, though, went into his details. Told his yeah. own personal business. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. that's crazy, bro. Um, it's only it's only acceptable to get an STD on a college campus. It's not, bro. Hey. <laughs> I, I bet everybody I, quiet in here. You know, All these niggas I, quiet in here. Huh? Huh? Nah, it didn't happen huh? to me. Hey, hey, hey. I wasn't about in college. You, I, 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 it's not happening to me. He ain't talking about college you. College everybody else in here quiet. I wouldn't go sit there and lie. It's not happening Niggas, niggas know the ones that go around. <laughs> That, that, no. That's surely what made me hold up. Like, you know, I'm going to back up because uh, oh, niggas, shit, niggas know. Y'all got quiet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like your thing about to fall off. Like, Jeez, that's rough, bro. I ain't never felt it. Whatever that feels like, I I'm not interested. And bro, it ain't. It ain't a that's good crazy. Um, it's the philanthropist and private foundations, chairs, and presidents um, that carry on programs to lower the fertility rate, aka live births. Oh, is that he was talking about? That was the wrong thing. Um, that was still going back. Yeah, he I think was, he was person. clarifying the Rome. Uh, what he said about the Rome. Th this is even today, though. No, no, I'm saying that I think he was giving us the definition of what that club, was because we was club asking. Or something yeah, like that. He, oh, okay. something he said earlier inside yeah. the conversation. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Unc said, I think I think economically it is cheaper to own a home than it is to rent because absolutely. I know my mortgage is three times less than the rent I'd be paying for my house. It's absolutely, fact. absolutely. Don't let, don't, let rich, well, I mean, don't, don't let rich don't let rich drinks tell you what to do. <laughs> rich drinks. <laughs> Put the whites. Yeah. All right, so y'all think, boy. think White good boy. about that conversation? We got any final comments? Nah, that was cool. All right, so we got through Johnny's question. So we going, we continuing with the memes, or are we going into another question? Uh, Johnny, you had something on the jump? Oh, uh, you could just go give give me Boosie. We, we kind of touched on this earlier. <laughs> Boosie is funny. Yeah, yeah Boosie. <laughs> it's on he on Vlad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just be hilarious. It's like the whole man with nail polish thing. Women having enough challenges facing other women to be prettier than them. Most of them, they underpaid. They don't have time to go against the men too. I let the women get their glory. And the women, I blame them too. They tolerate it. You don't hear these women nowhere saying that you look like a bitch. Right. Oh, you saw him, he looked like a hoe. Why would a man want to put what a woman does to their body? And the women have to speak up. Most men who like, who like women, who like women. I'm not gonna say, everything we do, being flashy, getting jewelry, putting on nice clothes, putting on a nice suit, we do that to impress women. If the women start speaking up, it will die down tremendously because we care about what a woman say. A man can tell you something, but if a woman tell it to you, it hurt much more. So the women have to speak up. Yeah, start getting a hashtag for them. Bitch boy. <laughs> sissy bitch. Nail oh, punk. Lord. I bet they'll stop. Make crazy. all memes out of them. Social media never memes with the nails and the purses and I'll make, put them on memes. Every time they scroll they fucking Hold phone, on, they, they see they ass. Yeah, yeah if all the woman there to where yeah, when they yeah, kids yeah, go yeah, and scroll yeah, down, they fake, see right? their ass cheeks and they nails. I bet daddy get you right if your fucking son walk in there and say, Daddy, I didn't know you wanted to be a woman. Your five year old or six year old. Mm. I really dislike the whole see, but Does anybody want to uh, uh. I'll, I'll, I'll start because here's my thing like y'all look at me I, I ain't to go get like your nails done type of dude but but like I don't care either the fact that he cares so much is what worries me it's like bro why is you like like why should I beg a woman 
to go tell a man not to wear it. I don't care. If they want to do that, there's going to be more women for me. But the fact that he, I don't know, it's something weird about that. The fact that he's, the fact that he's so mad about it. Like, it's something up with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, you done? I'm done. Okay, I'm going to give the, uh, never mind, I ain't going to say what I was about to say. Well, for, for me, one thing that he said that I feel like stands out very much so that I agree with to totally is that I believe that women tolerate a lot. They don't really, they don't shun a lot of things. As a result, like they, they like even amongst them themselves, and then they'll they'll just be like, oh yeah, he can. They, got a lot of they believe that you can do anything because they they have such so, such freedom. They believe that we definitely have more freedom than I believe. Like nigga, the nail thing. If if my son had nail polish, I'm taking all the nail polish out the house. Bro, hey, my wife ain't gonna have no nail polish. My I'm taking all the nail polish out the house. I think he missed an important point though. The, the women only tolerate that shit if you got money. You can't be working at motherfucking, at motherfucking CarMax with oh. your nail polish thinking you're going to be bagging know. a whole bunch. I think that's for rich niggas. That's oh, yeah, a rich possibly. nigga sport. Like, possibly. And the reason they tolerate it is because them or niggas Or appear to be rich all niggas the also. Bills. That's the other part. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Like, at the end of the day, I think that, like, I don't know what, where we're going. I didn't know Dre. I, I had seen people with the solid nails. I seen Tank. He had on, like, some solid black nail, nail polish. I don't agree with this shit. But then when you start getting... Uh, what do I don't know all of the acry acrylics and what is the, the the designs and shit on your nails, bruh? Come on, bro. What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, uh, I guess I guess I, I I'll try and give as fair of a take. Um, I'm not trying to be fair with mine. That shit. Makes sense. Go ahead, be fair. <laughs> Let me know when I can go. I'm just trying to trying to give. My I already take. said. Go ahead, bro. Okay. Um, I'm uh like I said, I'm, I'm gonna try and give as fair of a take. Where so for me, it's nothing that I would ever do. Um, it's nothing that like I, I don't deal inside the area where like my, my son has no interest in that or anything like that. And I literally don't understand it. Like it's definitely a thing that I don't personally understand. I would also say this is not the first generation of men that have worn nail polish in general. Like the eighties had a entire androgynous movement. That's a great point. Of like niggas with nails. So like I'm not going to like just completely ostracize these kids and pretend like no other generation of men actually did it. Oh yeah. Like if, like it, it was niggas that was doing hip hop that had nails and and tight leather pants and yeah, and niggas, titties niggas out. got all the women back in the day. Yeah, Prince, like it, it, like it's just the reality. Yeah. It's the reality of it. so like again like I have no interest of it in it. I have no interest in my son doing it, but. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm also not going to just say, like, it's the men of today. And it's like a today's thing. Because, like, niggas be being, doing androgynous shit all the time. Mm. Or they have done it throughout history all the time. Yeah, that's that's, that's definitely, that's like, a thing. thing. Back then, like, it was the cool shit to do back in the yeah, 80s. Like, like, literally, Prince. the 80s, like, the 80s decade was a bunch of, like, androgynous shit that I... I would never put on. Y'all saw Charlie. Y'all saw the Charlie Murphy skit, like like when he was talking about Prince and or with Michael Jackson. Game, like, but but game you can go through, like all of all of any group that you ever want to name, whether you want to go to Furious Five and hip hop or you want to go with uh, the Isley Brothers. Them niggas had some wild shit. On. I ain't gonna front. I, I was thinking about the earrings thing, like just even like, like when we was growing up. Yeah, yeah, wearing the hoops or people wearing two hoops and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no no yeah. rings and shit. I feel like I like. I have no interest in it. My son has no interest in it, and I, I I am happy about it. Them kids is doing it. I don't understand it to actually give like a, a an actual real critique to it. But um, I also ain't gonna act like these. It's the first time these niggas uh then ever done some shit like that. Oh man, we got some we got some good. Okay, so Joe skips even though he's he's been comment his comments is actually hitting no matter what section we in for some reason. Yeah. Um, social scientists are doing their thing, sponsored by corporations and philanthropists. Okay. Um, and then this one was one of the comments, Mr. T Money, nineteen ninety three. Um, part of the problem is high fashion for the most part is made by gay guys and women. It's now being taught that sexuality is fluid and it's all okay in a journey. I actually agree with that thought. That's process. not a bad thing. Um, because even in the eighties, that was what was going on. Like high fashion was being influenced by yeah. the gays, the seventies, all the, of that uh, stuff. Oh, so, yeah. So, so when Bastiat, high fashion, who, who's Andy War, like the Warhols and shit, like mm -hmm. I think him and Bastiat was. So yeah, I yeah, yeah. I do think that's when why you Biggie said that uh, Jay Z looked like a, a a gay painter or some shit like that. 
I do he's, think he's, he's I do think like, there uh, there Bastia. is an effect that happens because of that though. So even though those things happen, we've seen the effect of what happened in the '90s too with those or or even in, like those fathers who was born in the '70s dressing like that, or the fathers who or who was living in the '80s that was dressing like that. We see part of the results of what happened to that. You started having I think um, men got more effeminate in that way. I think that's that's actually a movement that was going on to soften the men, not just black men, but also white men, because if you soften the men, then you can get control of the women a lot easier. And we are in a place where we are highly controlled by our government. So I do think there was purposeful things that was set up in order for us to be highly or to submit to that control without it seeming under the guise of uh, of control. But it is control. No, that's facts. Yeah, I agree. I disagree. But we'll, we'll yeah. keep going. I got eight. Hey. Can, 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 can I get the one right under Diddy? Yeah, I'm going to go with a couple light ones and then we'll right. get into some topics. No Diddy. Uh, Angel Reese ain't nothing but Draymond Green with lashes and some edge control. <laughs> she be hacking like that? Yeah. Oh, she, she don't play. She don't play. But she, she actually got a way better shot than Draymond. She actually got a way better hey, shot. Hey, Draymond okay. dropped a couple tray balls. Uh, she got a that? way better shot. They talking about the attitude, not the game. Not, okay. Not, not, not the game, just the attitude, not the game. But, uh... But she like, yeah, don't really ever go over the edge. I, I, I just wanted that first one. Okay. I just, oh. <laughs> I just wanted that first one. I don't know what else um, And then if you could hit refresh. Hit re and then give me the top right. Right here? Yeah. Why he don't move closer? Homeless team bite six hours to get to college, sleeps in tent. <laughs> Why he don't move the tent closer? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is funny. Damn. Uh, and, and, that, then, and then click the dude uh, in, in the old school. I'm, I'm, I'm out. That ain't nothing. I'm about to redo all this, though, man. I'm thinking about frame off. I'm going to take the 350 out. Put a twin turbo LS. You know, about 1,200 horsepower. You know, something like. Supposed to be going 26. This is a Camaro, though. You know, this built for speed, you know what I'm saying? So I did the little 22. I'm about to take these. I think, I'm, I'm thinking about going Fort Giotto, though. I'm thinking about going Fort Giotto. Yeah, I'm about to redo the whole thing. You know, the interior ain't too bad, but you know, I'm, the red, I'm thinking about going to black, though. You know, black, you know, uh, leather all the way through. So, you know, door panels, everything. I'm finna, I'm finna redo, redo the whole thing, though. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to redo the whole thing. Yup. Yeah. You hear that? You hear that? <laughs> well, like I said, I'm finna take the 350 out. Twin Turbo LS. I'm finna redo it. Yeah, I'm finna redo the whole thing. Yeah. I'm finna redo the whole thing. That's that slogan, right? Everybody I know that got a car, I'm finna redo the whole thing. All of them, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm finna redo mine too. I ain't lying. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, now you supposed to do that with a Mustang. Um, so what we hit the comments and then we uh um we already questions? did the comments. We got all of them. Um, oh, we got okay. one we got one more comment. With okay. high fashion, women tolerated because a lot of them care about name brand. So now they cool with their man being the same way. That's a good point. They said out today's. What up, today's? Said, who? That's who he is. Uh, oh, he's a like cousin, little cousin, pretty much. Okay. I I oh, like. matter of fact, yeah, we, we his his uh, mom is a loyal listener. I was about to say yeah, it's a lot of guys more. who um. Oh, some more. Yeah. Oh, that's a boy mom. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. What up, bro? I know you probably know. Who I he he ain't a kid, but yeah, he. He he's he probably thirty. I don't know, like twenty eight, thirty. I don't know. You old? It's stay nineteen ninety three. You old like us? It's stay nineteen ninety three on this, so that probably make me thirty one. Twenty one. Oh, thirty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say it. like what um what what he was saying though. It's a lot of um, but it's agreed. a lot of women that like gay dudes too though. That's the crazy part nowadays. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You better be standing on the goddamn stool. Um. All right. So what, what we doing? We got. Okay, um, hopping into. Oh, uh, we've actually been through mine. Okay, um, all right. I did have one more I want to share with y'all if y'all like. I thought it was just nice. It wasn't nothing special, but I thought it was dope though. Um, it was a rap thing. I don't know if y'all seen this, but I thought they was dope. And every time I see them, I think they're dope. So I'm just gonna share this real quick. Oh damn! I didn't share the room. Tab. How many we can get inside by five thirty? 
What time is it? It's already five. five. Oh, oh, shit. Right. Okay. Finally, we got an off day, we free. I know, bruh, it's been a long ass week. Been a while since you took a day to just relax. Facts, today we should just kick back. You needed anything out of the kitchen? Nah, I'm good. I'ma watch the game while we chillin'. I might as well knock out these dishes. Damn, you been gone a little minute. I'm almost finished. Might as well throw out all the trash right quick. Damn, that was the last bag. Don't trip, this bag got a hole in it. Now I got a sweep. I'm cleaning out the fridge, trying to see what we gonna keep. We doing it again? What? The, the most. most. You know the way I am. Once I get into a flow I don't wanna spend the whole day on this though Think I wanna spend my whole day on this? No You know what? This is more like it I'm about to turn on some music and let the vibes hit Yeah, this my No, no. I just spilled drink all on the flow We trying to yeah. relax, the universe saying no What you wanna do? What you wanna do? I'ma just rock I'ma wash this I'ma meal prep I'ma toss this I'ma make a list Organize this We getting carried away, it's dark outside Damn, when it got so late Great I just thought I, every time I see them, I think they dope because they basically just make raps about regular lifestyle. They a real couple? Yeah, I think oh, so. That's cool. That's no. cool. They make raps yeah, about yeah. regular lifestyle stuff. Like I think that's dope. I don't know. But yeah, uh, they don't like that. Hey, hey, you know, <laughs> no, you, you I, know I, 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 Charlemagne. Nah, that ain't it, fam. <laughs> I, I did hear uh, like a really good suggestion that at some point I, I might try and like uh, try out and adopt. Where they said uh, I don't know where I seen it. That must have been a meme or something like that. But they said that as a family, they have once a week, like outside of all the normal things that they do on XYZ, they have, they set a 10 minute timer as a family. And on that 10 minute timer, for those 10 minutes, they all do as much cleaning as they possibly can. And I think that that's kind of like a fire idea of like just something to do as a group, get shit done and alleviates the, the stress on whoever else uh, a lot of those general responsibilities are. And it's like a, it, it, it's a minutes, thing. It's like just no time. Yeah, you thought it made Yeah, somebody gonna bullshit for ten minutes. Yeah. Like, oh, well, I mean, say, uh, but, but but I think that if you do ten minutes of like just doing something, it's going to help. Hey, did you like, did y'all know this? Brett was trying to get off. Y'all notice how many times that nigga mentioned taking out the trash. She kept talking about doing different shit. She was goddamn mopping. I'm going to throw this away. I'm going to throw that away. Going through the fridge. That nigga mentioned taking out the trash three times. And then got a hole in the trash bag. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think they're pretty dope, though. I, I, they got other rhymes, too. That's just It's along the same lines, though, where they just talk about regular day stuff, and I think that's creative. I know. I get it. I just That one wasn't fire to me. It wasn't fire. Like, it wasn't fire raps. Yeah, but uh, all right. So what are we gonna do, fellas? How we gonna do this? I think we got time for one. Who, who wanna question. go? One question. What's your? My, question? Mine is really short. Um, and it's about how how would you like to be remembered? Um, and your question was. Uh, oh, we well, already went through his. Yeah, oh, my question. Let's do his. Oh, damn. Because yours is on the time. Mine's gonna be over thirty. We got thirty minutes. We got twenty six minutes. Five minutes now. You might want to go something light. We 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 got next okay, week. That's fine. Amen. Okay. So well, say it one more time. I, I, guess, I guess we'll we'll probably end this episode quick. Um now nah, um so I guess unfortunately uh yesterday I was uh I was at a funeral. Um funeral for Tariq. Um oh, rest Muhammad rest, Stokes rest. and um peace. like at the funeral there was a lot of different things that was going through my brain. Um and yeah, also really like I, I I know that I'm super soft because like the moment everything is gonna pull in my heartstrings and like it's tears running down my eyes, and like through a lot of these moments and conversations, um, that that's being had, one first realizations that well it's not even a realization but it 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 was a a cause for uh intention is that there's never enough time with family, right, mm. and. Then another piece, especially with Tariq, Tariq's younger than all of us in here, um, and seeing somebody pass that's younger than me and done inside like a non like um natural, natural way, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's like, damn, like one life is short, but then it's like, how do you want to be remembered? And with mm -hmm. him. Like there was a lot of different things. Well, no, it was a very consistency of how he was going to remember it. And it lined up with how I remembered him. 
Um, where do you mind, if you don't, do you mind ahead. giving us a little bit? Because I would have, I would have definitely. I wish I would have known. I probably would have pulled up a little bit. Oh, I was what? with Mom Dukes. Of like, like what, what was that? You were saying when people were standing up and giving their. Oh no, I, I'm about to go into. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. I saw. Yeah. Um, so like it, it aligned with like how how I knew him. Like he was super humble, quiet, had a smile on his face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, like just was like there wasn't bothering nobody. Like never was like of any issue of any any to anybody, and everybody had like those moments of it, where he had his best friend came up and he read like a text message that he sent to him on, on New Year's where he was just like, "Hey, New Year, Happy New Year's, turn up da 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 da," but his message was like, like probably like two paragraphs mm-hmm. of like pulling at his like, "Hey, I'm so proud of you." Like I'm, I'm happy for like how far you've came. That's cool. Like way to kind of manifest all the things that you have. I believe in you, and I think you have way further to go. And that was Tyreek's message to his homie. Yeah, bro. That's and a- like, but everybody had like those very similar things. Mm. Where like I said, my my last knowing like like interacting with him, we was over at um uh, at a festival at, at the park, and he was like, "Oh, y'all got a grill? Should I hop on the grill?" And that's when y'all seen it. Literally. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. just offering services, just chilling out there. You know what I mean? Not not asking for nothing, but just, you know what I mean? Just his own little space. Do whatever he, he, he feel like doing. No trouble, no problem. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, as I learned more of, like, the scenario, um, like, really what it came down to is that he is remembered as a hero mm-hmm. because he died protecting his family. Literally, the the like, his his daughter. Yeah, and as I found out more about the story, like that's what he that's what he passed on, defending mm. his daughter, mm. and like it then just brings me back to my own mortality of like, damn, what do I want to be remembered as? Mm. Um, so again, takes us to a heavy space, but I'd love to hear y'all y'all guys' um, um, response to that. I actually want to talk about this because I've I've had a lot of anger about this over the past week. Um, because I, I did look at the news story and what happened and I only got to have one really good conversation with him. Like he was mm-hmm. around a couple of times, but we really like the last time I seen him at the cookout, we had a long conversation mm-hmm. and bro, bro didn't deserve that. Like, and I, I really, the reason I was angry is because I thought about the fact we complain about all these white people, but I'm pretty sure there's some black people who did this to him Oh yeah, yeah. and they didn't have no remorse. Like. You didn't you didn't have no thought to stop. Mm-hmm. Like to stop at a certain point. Even if you got in a fight and you was mad, you didn't have no regard for this man's life to where you stopped or you you like you just kept beating him. That that right there, it still didn't sit right. And, and like, you know, now in, in the case of how he died, I do think that like that that he died protecting his daughter. You can't like that's a hero's death for real. Cause he definitely was a hero and but I'm still angry for him, oh, man. I guess like yeah. I'm still angry because this happened in our like in a community that is black. It ain't nothing that we can blame. It ain't nothing we can blame from outside exactly. forces. This well, was some people who didn't have no regard for black life, and mm-hmm. they I don't know if they still out here. I hope they got them. I hope they got caught. Everybody, bro. I swear to God, that's like when did first let me start. Like um, the thing you know that's crazy because like the thing I remember is his smile. And when you said that, that's exactly like when I picture him in my head, I can see all his teeth. You know what I mean? I can see his top teeth. I can see his smiles, what I remember. And and this is not like, and, and I'm glad that like kind of we went, you know, that people are that came up and they went and gave, you know what I mean? The real life, real, you know, their real uh, relationships with him. Because a lot of the times we'll see uh, when something happened to somebody, they'll, uh, Eric, they're, oh, but he was a good dude. And like, you, then, you know, you, you be done known him and be like, this nigga was doing all kind of shit. Yeah. This is not the case well, like, here. That? Like, it, it's, a this man, as he said, a hero. A hero, like, a beautiful person. And then hearing that text message, someone a beautiful person, a beautiful person, a beautiful man that, 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 uh, definitely will be remembered as a hero and should be remembered as a hero, a good man. Mm-hmm. And, um, I guess I I I don't want to go too too long on that because yeah it's about I feel about it. I'm about yeah know. I about got there too yeah bro. so like, um <clears throat> now I know it's healthy uh but the, to to let you know let them go but like yeah nah so so when you when you thought about it what did you feel that you wanted to be remembered by or how do you want to oh be you asking the question back to me yeah yeah I, I guess we all just let me around. let me I, I, okay, I'll oh, give yeah, you a yeah, 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 nah, I'm speaking on you know yeah because what I remember most about bro is just because I was always in a space. 
when he was around, it would always be family around. Mm -hmm. And so I got to see like, you know, something that I want to be remembered is something that I saw from him is I just remember, you know, how, how he was, like y'all say, a hero, he, how he was a loving father and husband. He was a protector. He loved on them girls. Uh, and the thing I'm mad about is that they're not going to have that, you know, and that's been taken away, you know, from, from two black women. And now it's like, if we're supposed to be protecting our women, we can't hurt the people that's actually out here really, really protecting them. Cause that's, it, it, it's going to fold on, you know, it's just going to continue. So that's, you know, like I said, I, I, the way he loved his, you know, family is something that I would like, you know, to be remembered by too. Yeah. Um, I want to wear that shit, bro. Got I swear to yeah, God, I need, I need for the universe to make sure that that happens. I need for the universe to make sure that they wear it, bro. Mm -hmm. What I mean that from everything, like I, I pray, like literally, like wear it. I mean, okay, all right, go ahead, my bad. Yeah, um, no, and I guess uh, I'll try and move it towards the uh, question. But before then, I think that the hardest thing for me in the processing of like the whole scenario is like there's a daughter without a son, mm -hmm. me father, mm -hmm. and like hearing like. And seeing that in real time, like seeing her have to go up there and see that in the emotional toll. Mm. Like this is a 13 year old girl. Yeah. And like, I know for me that that was really, really tough. And again, I think the beauty is that she does have a standard and a fond memory of her father mm -hmm. to, uh, to remember and for guys to actually meet if that, if that makes sense. Um, but so yeah, again, going to like the, the question that was stemmed from, being up, being there was like, you know, end of the day, you don't know when. And am I live and I had to think like, am I living a life in which people would remember me by like the fruits of who I would love them to remember me by? Mm. The actions I would love them for them to remember me by. Um, and then what those things would in generally be. You know what I mean? Um I don't know if I specifically have like a full thought out answer, but I think that at the moment, I think, yes, I think that in general, I try not to do any fuck shit, have any fuck shit on my jacket and live like very principled in a manner to where like whenever that time does come that, you know, like, like I felt that I've, I've lived a worthy existence in itself. Um, mm -hmm. I would like, For keep, sure. like, not that I was agreeable, not that I, I was like, um, like, I don't know, like, I would, like, obviously people are going to say I'm a, I had opinions. People are going to say that I, you know what I mean, did X, Y, and Z, like, and maybe it was like philanthropist in this this capacity or look, but more than anything, I just care if they say that I was a good person. Like, in general, whether I agree with them or not, what he did was in good faith. Like, I could see the genuineness in whatever he is doing. That's probably, and that's probably it. Like he was a genuine and good person. That's probably what I try the most, and I would most love for people to remember me by. And yeah. and uh, just to, just so you know, we that's exactly what we know of you. Mm -hmm. That ain't no guessing. And I've been knowing you for that pretty much half your life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? El where? What is it? Older half. Yeah, yeah. yeah, over half. So I I know that you know what I mean. I've been around a long time. There's nothing that anybody would be able to say. Uh, outside of that, you know what I mean? That you would be definitely remembered for everything that you're talking about. Uh, you got the, sh man, sh you know how many relationships actually have been established because of you and through, and like mm -hmm. you, the, the, the way that you can, we already know that if a guy's coming through you, that means that he's family. Mm -hmm. And that's because of your character. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So definitely, you're, that's not a question on that. Um, uh, I guess I'll go next and say that uh, uh, for me, what would I want to be remembered as? Um, I guess, I guess my, my thing is, uh, y'all know I'm like, like the old school shit, like the, the, the I'm, I want to be remembered as a man who provided for his family. Um, a man, a man that loved people and, uh, that told it spoke his truth. You know what I mean? Especially, yeah, that's one of the main ones I think like, like what you were saying, you know what I mean? I ain't, I, yeah, yeah, tried just a, a man that took care of his family, uh, tried to learn along the way as well. Didn't know, knew that he didn't have it figured out. Also willing to learn along the way. Um, 
And I hope people, you know what I mean? I guess the biggest thing is I hope people know that I love them as much as I actually do. Uh, though I may not show it in there. And that's something that I'm noticing. I'm I want to get better with this, like showing people that I love them in the way that they need to be loved. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know the way that I love and the way that I show love, but it may not, you know what I mean? It may not be taken the same way that I uh, intend for it to. So that would be one of those major things too that I hope that I could be remembered for. Nah, for sure. Nah, I'll say, you know, it's just something I ain't never really, you know, yeah, I never really thought about it mm-hmm. like that because, I mean, in my head, I'd be feeling like, like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a live, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a live, for, live yeah, to, like, for, like, hundred, like, right? like for real. Like sometimes you really feel that way, and then like situations like this that you know that's, mm-hmm. it's not the case at all. So I mean, if I had to think about it, I mean, I, I'd want to like when I'm no longer here, I would like to put you know more love than hate in the world, more, 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 more empathy in in the world for understanding because I do know it's a. It, it, it's a tough world, you know. I, I feel like a lot of the people in the world that are evil and bad, they just didn't get t- they just didn't get enough love. Mm. I feel like if there was more love out there, a lot of the bad people wouldn't. You, maybe them boys don't do you know what they do if they get a hug. You, you know, I, so I, I just want to be known for just putting more love than hate in the world. Mm. Uh, being a man impeccable with his word, I, I, I try to you know if I, however I feel about you, I try to be you know upfront and honest i'd like you know that to be remembered uh that's that's all i really got but it's just yeah i just want to be remembered for the love i put out there in the world Mm -hmm. um i definitely want to be remembered for i want to be remembered for loving people and showing like i want people to know that i do love them and that i'm willing like service the service that i do Mm -hmm. like i try that's been one of the biggest things for me i don't talk about that a lot but for people I care about, I'm willing to be there for about any, like, if you need me, I, I, I'm i going to show up. Especially if I, like, as long as I know, like, now, if you're telling me something at the last minute, hey, I might make it if I can. But a lot of the time, I, I really put myself on the back burner just to serve other people. And I want them to know that I do that because I love them, like, mm-hmm. straight up. But I also want them to do that because they know that I love God and that it's not about me. I, like, because I, if, if anything, if there, if there's my, my biggest hope for the people, like if I was just to leave today, I would hope that y'all would still push forward with your relationship with God mm. more than anything else. Mm. Like it, that's, that's the main thing I guess I would say like that. I, I want people to know I love them and I want them to know I love God. And yeah. And, and I guess that. what I say is that I, I think that everybody in this room, I would say is uh pushing towards that version of themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that everybody's doing a great job at it. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of these things are things that we kind of like markedly know each person for. Like mm-hmm. you, provider. Like Johnny with his with empathy. Mm-hmm. Like tone, his love for God. Yeah, like these yeah, are yeah. things that we all wear in our, on our front jacket as like a thing that we want to make sure that people understand and remember us as. Um, and I guess one, one other thing that I would say inside this space that really, really was like a spurred sense of urgency is that I I, I, I want to make sure that I just keep pushing and forcing myself to get over like the, the whole love you thing because of you mm-hmm. literally don't know when the next time that mm-hmm. thing can be. Mm-hmm. And like, sometimes like that immediacy of seeing something like that, it just like, it, it really is like way, 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 like it, it makes it way, way more uh, pertinent, more, more of like a uh, um, an urgency to like, bro, we take waking up every single day for granted. Like niggas with a whole lot of life left in them mm-hmm. passing way before you. And like, you don't know, like if, if you, I could drive out of here right now and, and you don't know, like mm-hmm. it's not a guarantee. And so like you, you want to make sure that those last moments memories is something that you want people to understand is, a thing that you have on your jacket intentionally. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And, and I guess I, I just, my last thing on it and, and, and see, this is the, this is the type of thing that kind of gets to me is where it's, we, we, what do we, what do we wait on white people to do something to us for us to have a movement that would say that we need to, you know what I mean? Like, what are we, what are we, we waiting for white people to kill us? In order for us to have a movie each get time, mad when, it's a when I fucking sit here and tell you, like, look at this. This man died as a father protecting his fucking daughter. So that sounds like a movement. All these, all these men with fathers. 
All these men were fathers. You gonna tell me that there's no, why, why, why we don't fucking march on that shit? Mm -hmm. Sitting here, that could have been me because I'm damn sure gonna go. I'm damn sure gonna go. Q, you going. Yeah. You know what I mean? Johnny, you going. Tone, you going. So like, that, that's a movement. Let's, let's make that movement. Mm -hmm. It don't gotta be somebody doing something to us from another community. Bro, that's literally could be any man that's trying to be a good father. Yeah. Literally could have been any of us that's trying to be a good father and take care of our family and then what we get. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, I'm still angry about that. That shit don't make no sense. Um, let's go through the no, comments. No, I actually like that a lot. Let's go through the comments. Um, this was from the previous conversation. Universal, Sony, and Warner are pushing the culture by developing the music artists. Um, social scientists study populations too. Um, I like what Joe Skip is saying because he his it's a comment that's about to come up that if you don't see this, you won't know what he's talking about. I think. Um, Aaliyah. This brought me a lot of anger too. Anger at the people, the society, the culture that could allow this, the fact that life was not valued. For sure. Agreed. The people who did this had no regard for life. They probably don't even have regard for their own life as well. And, and the other part that's, that's disgusting about this is there was also a young boy involved. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what he went and told his parents, but now he has to live with that too, that he, caused, he caused this. Yeah. That's crazy. You could he went you might have went and lied to your parents and you caused this and now it's a death that didn't have to happen and he, yeah yeah um but with reflection Maslow's hierarchy of needs tells us that this lines up with the system that perpetuates the violence that would allow this and the social acceptance to allow this the group thing and I I think that was a big part of it too because I was really thinking what was going through these adults' heads mm -hmm. when they went out and they decided. We gonna jump because this wouldn't have happened necessarily back in the day. Even if you went out and got in a fight, the whole point of fighting is to live to another live, day, yeah, not to jump some, and kill somebody. Some. Like, yeah. Um, Joe Skip, these brothers. Um, then he said, "We have too many black folks in the high seats of the government corp um, corporations." And I, when I first read that comment, I was wondering what he was talking about. But I thought about it, and I was like, you know, there are a lot of black folks in in high seats and we be talking about like we need this and we need they they're not working for us necessarily mm -hmm. so yeah um a quote i heard recently was the system is designed to have the outcomes it has it lines up mm -hmm. um okay angel hall has asked this question twice so we i say that for last we're gonna read this comment here um this is what we need each individual it is your choice to make a movement i support you all make it a movement now Love um. It. Okay. Angel Hall's comment is kind of a debate. Yeah, so. I agree with pretty much everything Aaliyah said. Yeah, yeah Aaliyah I did too. Spot on. Um, Angel Hall's is, a, is is she asked this last week too? So we'll go ahead and address it. I guess this will be the last um question. I don't think it's gonna take us too long. Um, off topic debate: Ashanti or Alicia Keys? Who was more beautiful? Hard choice. Both women are beautiful. Oh, she 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 says she's gonna leave us with something lighthearted. All right, that's a good way to break the tension. Yeah, we appreciate bit. it too. Yeah. Um, Alicia Keys or who? Um, Ashanti. Uh, I think Ashanti. it's easy. Ashanti. That's what I was about to say. Just real yeah, easy. It's yeah, Ashanti. Ashanti. Ashanti, Ashanti is buying this shit. Fuck Alicia Keys. <laughs> like, 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 like we're talking about like right now. Like, like right now. You know back in the day. Now, you know, Alicia, Alicia, Alicia was cold back Alicia's in the day. Cold. Well, you know the one thing I keep thinking about every time I every time I hear somebody bring up Alicia Keys and like her beauty thing, right? I also I always think about when she said that she got there and played the piano naked. And so I just I just imagine waking up in the morning and her on the keys. I never heard that. That's Johnny, Johnny got into that thought right there. Johnny, 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 Johnny said that as Johnny a fire went into a whole imagination. I guess. I, I, but I mean, as I, far I as just beauty, as far as just beauty, with, you, uh, when you Shanti get a shanty, that's that, that's that, that mm -hmm. black, that's that full black woman beauty that you know what I mean. The curvaceous and you know what I mean. The 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 kisses of melanin, like it's she got the 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 she, juice for sure. And she have milk. She got that uh the thing that made J Cole apologize. That <laughs> <laughs> half milk is that half milk. That's the problem. That's what it was. Yeah. He if he milk. if he had a white if no if he had a black mama, ain't no way he was gonna back back. I know. <laughs> Well, that's actually probably true. No, the yeah. thing is, if that, he hits you, you better go hit him back. That's Facts. actually probably true. Facts. That's actually probably true. So the overall consensus is Ashanti. Yeah, yeah. yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ashanti, fine. Oh, Ashanti or Maya. And let's not keep going. I got to yeah, get mad. Now we're about to end it, but real quick, Ashanti, Ashanti or Maya. Maya. 
Give me my. Well, Maya is my uh, one of my childhood. Give me yes. yes. Maya's been Absolutely. a childhood. The Rugrats. Is Maya fired as a bug, bro. Uh, take me there. Yeah, that's, that's the hard one right there. That was that shit. All right, well, good show, fellas. All right, yeah. fellas. Hey, I, hey, hey, I love y'all boys. Love you, you too, bro. Bro. Too, yeah, that, that was yeah. tough at the end, but uh, you know, I definitely want to send condolences out to the family. Sure, the show's sure. definitely, you know, here for y'all. Love you, Misha. Um, you know, definitely love you, Misha. Love you, Misha. Sure. Definitely love y'all. Uh, appreciate you know y'all for checking us out. Appreciate all the comments. Uh, like, comment, subscribe below. Please follow us on all social medias at D Two B Fed Show. That's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. I am your host Johnny P. Oh, here, real. It's Q, and we out. Yep. <laughs>